Hey, what's good, guys? This is Order of Opinion. I'm your host, Anthony. And this is my co-host, Tim. What's up? I say co-host because, uh, I guess, I'm the host for um, our X-Men series, which is starting now. <laughs> Yay. Our breakdown and rankings of the X-Men series. Um, there's definitely some clunkers, and there's definitely a couple of shots off the backboard, I guess. There's a couple fucking missed layups, um, wide open layups. Um, uh, yeah, uh, I think the way, especially with this movie, the way this movie starts sort of sums up the entire X-Men series that a gift is also a curse. Because <laughs> I always wanted there to be X-Men movies, but I guess I didn't anticipate how bad it would be. You know, in sports they say repetition builds confidence. But an X-Men repetition makes you want to carve your dickhead off. Yeah. It's almost like they generationally made it, rep- like like each X-Men team is almost exactly the same. They just make it a fucking TV show. <laughs> they should. Speaking have. of which, um, TV shows we got Legion out. Our uh, breakdowns and rankings and uh, on Legion, just fucking subscribe on iTunes and they'll all be there. Episodes four and five. Um, we didn't watch six yet. I don't I even know I'll if I could make it to Gone. six. Legion it might be whack, but it might be good. I think I'd might I'd rather watch SpongeBob than Legion. <laughs> the reviews and breakdowns of Sponge Finding Homosexuality in Spongebob. That would uh, be our next podcast. <laughs> Actually, our next podcast there, is... There the, wouldn't be much finding, because it's the whole show. Well, yeah. Squidward's a homo, Patrick's an extra homo, and Spongebob is like, you know, he's flamboyant. And honestly, though, um, our next series isn't that far the off. The pet's also gay. The pet, the That's why snail? he has a pink shell. Yeah. Shell. But I mean... Um, <laughs> His, his, yeah. his boss is like and a, Mr. Krabs is he's experimented well he's an, sure. he's a because he has a whale daughter he's a so. flamboyant like middle aged single guy who has an adopted daughter like what do you think he is he owns a fucking restaurant <laughs> and speaking and of he's a Jew speaking of finding homosexuality and things our next series Fast and the Furious yeah that's also be coming out it, like I said if you just subscribe on um, iTunes really only care about iTunes but we're on SoundCloud and Stitcher, too, if you give a fuck. Um, Which I don't think people do. <laughs> uh, yeah, so after this this whole X-Men series will come out um, these next couple weeks, uh, we're going to be doing Fast and Furious right after, because that needs to be done, apparently. Well, we're um, analyzing... Because there's eight... There's going to be eight fucking movies. Yeah, I don't know how they um, managed to pull that one off. It's cars going fast. Wolverine for 16 years and Fast and Furious... For 17, right? Was the first one in 2000? God, I don't know. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Whenever um, whenever Paul Walker was still alive, that's when the first one was. Yeah. They should put Daylight in Fast and Furious just because Daylight made a fucking music video with Paul Walker. Wouldn't it be funny if they I put did. him in it, but he was um, who Paul Walker was supposed to be? And <laughs> he's just black now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a rehash. It's not a sequel. Uh, anyways, I think we're babbling a little too much, but um, yeah. You so you can find our release schedules on uh, Twitter and Facebook. Fucking follow there on both, and you'll see our bullshit that we put out. But you also see the schedules, and sometimes which we we'll say funny try things. and stick to. Yeah. Um, and if you're in we're our not groups, too fucking stupid. <laughs> if you're in our um, groups and Facebook, you can. Uh, Find us there, too, I guess. Yeah. Fuck them. We'll put shit out. We're finally starting to do that kind of shit. Yeah. Um, but either way, who gives a fuck? And fuck podcasting and fuck everything about it. Fuck podcasters. <laughs> fuck us. You Bro. know? <laughs> um, <laughs> I actually uh, told someone that I didn't, like, that they asked me recently... They're like, yeah, so what, like, podcast do you listen to that you can, like, compare yourself to? And I just looked at them like, I don't listen to podcasts. Podcasts suck. <laughs> and they gave me this look like, wait, what the fuck? Yeah. I tell that shit to people all the time. I'm like, dude, it's just, it's the opposite effect. Like, I'm I'm doing podcasts because I hate podcasting. 
and I don't understand why people listen to it. It's true art. This is true art here because it's the like saying fuck you to everything else. I'm making my we're, own entertainment. We're the like we're like the roots of music or of podcasting. Yeah, and at one we're, point I had a floppy afro too. <laughs> With my titty shown and my fucking <laughs> extra large white tee that I've worn for 22 years. We were talking about this shit too. Um, like who has the easiest celebrity life? Yeah. <laughs> And we mutually, <laughs> without actually, like, we both came up with our answers not next to each other. Yeah. Like, at all. I was at work when he thought of it, and then he asked me. We both said, fucking Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Go figure. We don't even like him that much. So it is, that must actually mean that he has the best. Well, we don't like his life. music as, as, like, his image and just being Snoop Dogg. He's the realest celebrity ever. Well, yeah, he just has it, to be. <laughs> like, I even He said, knows that shit, too. He's one of those dudes that can actually live off of his classics and just, like, he, he can go on the internet and make a show where he just smokes weed in front of you. It, all that being, it's entertaining, great guests, good conversation, all that. But this motherfucker's smoking weed the whole fucking time, and everyone is cool with it. He's everyone is cool with it. He might have single-handedly helped weed get decriminalized and legal. Yeah. In some states. I mean... Snoop Dogg single-handedly. He has championed for it and all that shit, but at the same time, at the same time, his job consists of going to do to do the same songs <laughs> that he's done for 20 years. He never even has to try to remember. It's just, like, natural at this point. The words just come out when he hears the beat. <sighs> what was the last new thing he came out with? Uh, that shit, that legend shit. Remember, oh, I played right, that shit. That's for right. Him. And his Snoop Lion fucking breakdown. That wasn't even a breakdown. <laughs> like, or no one called it that because that's how cool Snoop Dogg is. He doesn't yeah. have a midlife crisis. He just well, he doesn't need a midlife crisis. He he started a football league, and it's like one of the best football leagues in the country. Yeah, everything he's done has turned out great. Crazy, right? Um. Anyways, anyways. looks like the opposite end of that <laughs> spectrum is Brian Singer. <laughs> Brian Singer. <laughs> Well, with as shitty as this, as our, as my shittiest movie, your co-host, because we're going off my list, um, and my rankings. Oh, it's for mine the whole too. Thing. We're doing each movie in X Men, by the way, including Deadpool, all of them. Um, and we just did Logan, so check out Logan as well. Just fucking subscribe, and you'll see it. We did it on Logan. We love Logan. Apparently, a lot of people love Logan. That have listened, the hundreds <laughs> that are listening, the hundreds. <laughs> We're trying to be thousandaires, all right? So start fucking downloading and telling your fucking friends. Put it this way, you fucking send it, you you tweet us some shit or fucking Facebook message, whatever DM. Tell us, hey, look, I told people to I told somebody to subscribe. We might shout you shout you out. Yeah. On the next one. I mean, if you care about um, those things, just don't have might, a funny name. Can we someone get this to Middle America? Uh -huh. like I feel like they would appreciate it. Because they hate everything. <laughs> they hate things more than uh, we do. Uh, what was what was my point? What the fuck was I talking about there? That's how shitty this movie is. We have, well, don't want to be there, and that's oh. what your point was. How shitty this yeah, movie is. Well, we're is. going off my list, yeah. and um, our list is based off of our scores out of ten. And I'm telling you right now, um, this movie, X Men Apocalypse, has my lowest score yet. Oh, yeah. Because it's fucking trash. It's the worst movie ever created. I gave almost. it a 1.7. Holy shit. I gave it a 2. It's also number 9 on the list for me. It's, um, um, it's it, a hot pile of garbage. <laughs> they they might as well... I hope I don't know how much Brian Singer had freedom on this movie. Um, I, I wouldn't give him too much freedom because it might actually lose him his freedom. <laughs> yeah, um, don't get in a hot tub with Brian Singer. Uh, don't get invited to something by Brian Singer. <laughs> yeah, if he says it's a release party, it might just be you showing up and he's there naked. <laughs> might be his release party. Yeah. <laughs> of some nocturnal uh, emissions. Um, I feel like, so we watched the gag reel on Apocalypse. Two funny stories with Apocalypse, right? We watched the gag reel, first off. We've watched it th two or three times. Um, as many as I can handle. I feel like I went out of my body in my in somebody else's mind <laughs> every time I watch this movie because I spaced the fuck out. And I, and I feel like I watched the first 40 minutes and I'm like, dude, wh wait, so what's happened yet? Bro. What the fuck is going on? 
Yeah. It's a VH1 special. It, it's it, not it, even MTV anymore. Might, the old ones are uh, MTV. This is a VH1 special. I don't even know if I would list it at like VH1. This might be like basic cable special. Like they Bro, did not try to produce this whatsoever. It it has a fucking early 2000s college horror dialogue. With Let's get out of here. With the mummy plot. Yeah. It does have the mummy plot. That's exactly right. It's just, it's the same plot as the first mummy. Yeah. Accidental fucking awakening, all that bullshit, powerful God, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. The only difference is it doesn't have the glory of Brendan Fraser. I wish half the dialogue was blah, 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 blah. Because the dialogue was trash. Wouldn't Brendan Fraser make like the best summer's dad? <laughs> and I'd like to see Brendan Fraser as a fucking drug dealer. Yeah. The whole Summers family is drug dealers. Well, which we find out, because when you see Havoc in this one, as opposed to all the other ones, he has become like a fucking 80s Grand Theft Auto Vice City fucking drug runner. Like, he's wearing yeah. everything fitted and fresh. And discovered crack as well. Yeah, he looks like he like he cooks crack with his lasers. Like, he makes some next he's level He's super shit. dope boy fresh. Yeah. He just um, holds the coke in his hand and it becomes crack. That's his other mutant power. Um... And Oscar Isaac, he's a fucking... He's stoned, he, first off. Yeah. Because that's all... Apocalypse spot. isn't menacing. He just looks... He's hella short and looks stoned. He <laughs> look, he. They made him an Arab, a blue Arab man. Well, or he, it is, seemed... he is a blue Arab man. <laughs> he's from the Middle East. <laughs> well, he's... He's, <laughs> he's technically an African man. Wasn't yeah. that Egypt? Well, he apparently he had been across the the fertile crescent. <laughs> when was the last time you heard that fucking high school? <laughs> Learning weapons, superpowers. No more weapons. <laughs> no more superpowers. Like yeah, they they did they. It sounds the one... like an old like you, <laughs> you made. Won't... You made him sound like an insidious fucking ghost projection old lady. <laughs> Dude, what's funny is the way he walks. He looks like a bulldog. Like he has his arms he's all stoned. puffed out. He's, he's super fucking stoned. high. Well, if um, you see in the, what we were getting to. And he's apparently reel. a stylist as well. He's better than Gucci Gucci Armo. Gucci Gucci Armo? <laughs> he's a great stylist. Because at God. first he gives Angel this like weird ass sons of anarchy meth smoking fucking leather jacket yeah he's like oh, you'd look good in this thing he's <laughs> like now we gotta be fitted for battle <laughs> he gives Psylocke a fucking purple Kmart swimsuit <laughs> and he's like yeah, I'll put, put holes in it and then he turns Storm hair white yeah cool bro well he gave her like um, the classic Storm fucking garb too I guess yeah. the fucking drifty hanging down dress that looks stupid cause she could fly anyway could she I don't know maybe she couldn't she, I'll take Halle Berry. I'm sorry. At least Halle Berry was like ridiculously sexy. I'll take Lenny Kravitz's daughter, which is, oh my isn't the actress, but yeah. should have been. Yeah, just somebody sexier. Um, I don't care about that. This chick just sucked as an actress too. Well, they also didn't give her much to do. All she was like, all she literally did this whole movie was a give one lightning strike, one point out Mystique, like her. I want to be like her. That is my hero. And then goes and snitches on her, dry snitches on her, and calls Mystique a fucking bitch, basically, to Quicksilver later in the movie. That's by saying, true. hey, I heard he's your dad. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, like, that's all Storm did. Yeah, she was a, apparently... She, she was, was Aladdin. Just, well, yeah, Psylocke did less. Psylocke might have actually done less. Yeah. Because she was there to, like, show off her Well, she sword. was in less. She was in less, too, yeah. But, no, like, she literally, she had, like, two lines, three lines maybe, and she was in one battle scene. Yeah. That's it. And she was CGI'd for that whole fucking battle scene. Yeah. Even fucking, oh I almost called them Falcon. Um, Speaking of CGI, the graphics in this shit, it looked like fucking a PC. It looked like the Incredible Bulk. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It was Mummy. It, it was. It the was. Mummy. I, I think I could have got better CGI from the original Mummy. Who? What's his name? Angel. I almost called him Falcon. That looked terrible. <laughs> him flying looked the worst. It yeah. was the worst thing. It almost was so. And then he got a white man's perm. All of a sudden. Oh shit! That was sort of fresh. <laughs> Why did everybody have to have a mohawk? 
Like Apocalypse is like. This Why did he is- turn her hair white? I don't think he knew that was gonna happen. Well, apparently he. And then she, and then Stormlight just invites him into her house. This blue man. Like how fucking weird was that? Well, how, yeah, right. How come his <laughs> hair, her hair turned white, and Psylocke's turned purple? Streaks of purple, not all. I, purple. I don't know. And then, fucking Magneto, nothing, nothing changed about Magneto. Yeah. They need him to stay the same. Well, that's exactly what I mean. Like I feel like if this movie was made in the '80s, early '80s, people would jerk it off, because it somehow becomes like a disaster movie. Eventually, All of a sudden. yeah. The just the reactions, like the military being like, "It's the whole goddamn world." Yeah, how many and everyone, times? And then the bridges are being destroyed, and let's say you're like, "Oh my god!" How many As times? Magneto you see, destroys uh, billions of dollars of infrastructure. And doesn't get called out for it because you know what they do? They spin it around. This is what I didn't get until like the third time watching yeah. the movie because I never. Paid I heard attention. it too. I they already spin know it so that he was the one battling fucking yeah. apocalypse. Those greasy bastards. <laughs> He probably killed, like, a billion people. He probably killed millions and, like I said, destroyed billions, oh, maybe tr- trillions millions, probably. of dollars. Because Apocalypse doesn't like sewage. Because well, there wasn't like, sewage in his time. He doesn't like metal. <laughs> He's just like, take it out of the ground. And even the one dude has He's to like, explain it. You guys can't see that I could make anything out of sand? Probably explains why I don't need any of the four horsemen. Right, but I could probably just make sand soldiers, and that would beat the X Men. Probably and, be more fun to watch as well. And notice too how it was just a bunch of military dudes sitting around a table. Like those were the cutaway scenes. Someone oh, yeah. on the phone, fucking. It was the classic '80s movie. Yeah, and they um, in the sense so, that they had to explain everything through dialogue as they're doing it too. He's like, I made these oh vector glasses out of ruby quartz. Or the one dude's like, everything since it, the Bronze Age will be destroyed. They didn't even give a fuck to foreshadow in X Men anymore. It was just straight out. All right, we're going to the next scene, and all of it's going to be explained right now. Yeah, there was um, no guessing in this one why he needed anything. That's my point of the plot. Like, if, if this was made in the 80s, people would love this shit, but it's super outdated. You're like, what the fuck is going on? It's Almost, like, remember when people were hating on Apocalypse uh, being a kid in the, like, they had the a trailer, trailer a yeah. few years ago? And it's like, dude, I would have almost preferred that because... At least we would know what Apocalypse is about. Not just that he transfers from old Jew to old Jew to old British guy. Yeah, apparently it makes them all go bald, too, because that's how we get the fucking the New Age Professor X is some balding. And he's going to get destroyed or almost destroyed by somebody dropping a rock with an arrow on it. Showing that it's going down. Like yeah, it's the a Mario fucking video Kart game. arrows on the yeah they built which pinpointed the exact stone pillar that needed to drop to destroy the whole temple. Which I don't get is didn't they just showed that he built his own temple in the other one? Why the fuck out of he, sand? Out of sand and <laughs> metal. It just disintegrated shit essentially. Yeah. Uh, what? Why? Did you give your score? Yeah, it was a two. It was <laughs> terrible. It was a uh, deuce. A deuce. It was a big fat deuce. But why would he build his own first pyramid to have those deficiencies? That's what I didn't get because they showed he built his own pyramid. He could build know. his own pyramid. I just I, I I don't know why Brian Singer decided to put. Oh God, I don't just I don't know why he decided to put this piece of shit in theaters in a bag on my doorstep. Because that's what it I was. I don't get it. It's almost not, like and, it hurts to think about this movie. <laughs> Like, because it's so fucking It's senseless. It's a senseless fucking movie. There was no point to it at all. There was no point in X-Men. There was no cool subtext or message to it It was X-Men normally has, right? Like, nothing. Maybe, like, maybe this was Singer-like. Saying the government's wrong and all that shit. Yeah, some Winky Leaks. (laughs) That's what he was trying to say. Well, no, he wants Winky Leaks to stop because Winky Leaks, you know, be exposing his ass. That was this um, thing. He's like, we need to get Molly rid of the. Raping that goes on. <laughs> we need to get rid of the weapons, man. That's why I made this movie. No more superpowers. And he failed miserably. He, this fell on its face. What was funnier to me is that he has them because this is what he can have: Jean Grey, Cyclops, and Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. My name is Kurt Wagner. <laughs> I came here to pray and suck. I wore my Eddie Murphy jacket. The helicopter. I teleported to. <laughs> It's not as good as the helicopter. <laughs> yeah, this 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 one wasn't he's as more German. tribal. Yeah, yeah, he's like. Um, but the coolest thing Brian Singer can have them do 
is go to a movie in the mall because Cyclops is feeling all cooped up. And Jean Grey's like, I don't leave the house. Yeah, and I'm telepathic. I'm too powerful. And for some reason, Kurt's like, yeah, I'll go to the mall. No one's going to freak out at a blue devil walking around (laughs) in the middle of America. But what's funny about that whole part is they walk out of Return of the Jedi, (laughs) um, which is exactly how she left. (laughs) Oh, she was terrible. (laughs) Jean Grey was so terrible. Telepath. (laughs) I can read minds. It's like they're afraid of my voice. They're not afraid of you. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god! Yeah, she. Yeah, she sounds like she's half Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> oh bother! <laughs> I guess I'll have to eat some honey before we fight apocalypse. <laughs> Let me go put my shirt on with no pants. Why did Winnie the Pooh wear no pants? Do bears not have dicks in the wild? I think he was a living teddy bear. Well, yeah, that was what he's supposed to be, but none uh, of them had pants on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. Yeah, she's fucking stupid. I hated her. She was terrible. This fucking VH1 special fucking... What did Os- like? <laughs> what did Isaac Oscar think? Like Oscar Isaac? Brian Singer just pissing his eye? I think so. Like, well, he pissed I mean, his Cheerios for sure. This That's why he was <laughs> pissed off. I think I think <laughs> you're completely right, though. I think Singer fucked it up with the way he wanted it directed, and fucking everyone else <laughs> fucked it up with the way it was written. <laughs> but the point of why they went to the mall. <laughs> After they walked out of the movie theater, they watched Return of the Jedi, the third Star Wars, and Gene Gray is like, well, at least we know the third one's always the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of X Men Three, but I'm really making fun of myself because the movie's a piece of shit, and it's Brian Singer's third movie. <laughs> like he was hating on it because Last Stand to me is not that bad not like, compared to I, this. I, I people <laughs> fucking hate Last Stand. I actually sort of like Last Stand. I think you know, but we'll we'll get to that. Brian Singer had the one off, uh, and that was fucking it for him. Uh, like, and he so really they should. I not. think he was more pissed that he didn't do First Class because he had fucking ten minutes of flashbacks from the First Class. Yeah, he was it's like, like he wanted the first class. This is the story I wanted. <laughs> well, they brought him back for this, which was um, like their mistake. They probably just couldn't hire anyone else to make a shitty movie again. Everyone's like, no, no. I'm not doing another X-Men movie. You're telling me I only get two minutes of Wolverine? Yeah. And that's like, the, oh, there's the promo for Logan. There it is. Yeah, which was a 30 minutes of an unnecessary scene because none of that mattered in the end. And it was still VH1-ish. Oh, so it did sort of matter because they got a plane. Okay. Yeah. They have Kurt Wagner. But the way Wolverine ran away was the funniest fuck. He ran away like a fucking jackass. Like he was like, hey, my homeless shelter is like the fucking point two miles away. I'll run there and get some bean soup. <laughs> they probably have a blanket. I'll let this 17-year-old girl touch me. I mean, if you want to jerk me off in front of fucking laser eyes over here, go ahead. That was my theory is uh, that Logan... He didn't speak. No. And he was probably so homeless that, like, for the next 30 years, he probably only lived, like, pro- maybe a mile away from that place. He and didn't wait. Make it far. Wait. Oh, never mind. No, no, no. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Um, timelines were switched already. Um, yeah. So, as far as, like, Ozzyk. Uh, Ozzyk. Ozzyk Aiska. Os- I- oh, Ozzyk Aiska. Oh, my. Isaac Oscar. What the fuck's his name? Oscar Isaac? Oscar Isaac, there yeah. Go. Well, he should have stuck um, there. Poe. Ex- yeah. I'm just going to call him Poe. Right? Poe Dameron should have stayed in the X-Wing for this one because he sucked. I don't know if he sucked. No, I said I, like, I can't blame it on him. He them. was comic booky. He was funny. He made Apocalypse like sort of funny. To a degree. But Even I like his fucking messiah prophetic rants that he would go on. Is it funny? Or funny. They, or is it so bad I, it's funny? It's so bad it's funny. Yeah. I feel like it was a parody. It's like it, watching Indiana like, Jones. Um, Like uh, dude from um, Guardians of the Galaxy, Ronan. Uh, it was like Ronan to me. Dude, if you viewed this movie as like it was meant to be a comedy, making fun of superhero movies, then yeah. I'd get it. Because, well, because th- let's think about it. Two funny stories about us and Apocalypse. We watched the gag reel. Hilarious. Hilarious, and they're better acted. That's better. I would rate that a 5 out of 10. The gag reel was funny. And when we first watched Apocalypse, 
We went to our fucking secret bat cave theater that we'll never tell anybody about. Um, I think people are growing weed in there. It's not popular uh, with the kids, we'll tell you that much. Um, there was one guy on a Thursday night. We were like, you know, we were fucking hammered. This was the day it came and, out. Uh, yeah. And we were hammered. And we were like, all right, let's do this. We're about to watch X-Men Apocalypse. Hopefully something's good about it. And there was one guy in the middle of the theater, some Mexican dude. And he was texting the whole time or whatever. And then he just walked out, like, halfway through the movie. And we were, like, sitting there chilling because there's a lot of flash in this movie. A lot of action, a lot of CGI, a lot of, like, flash. And we were like, oh, that's not that bad. I think you even were like, I sort of liked it. Yeah. Um, And we were always wondering, we were like, why did that dude just, like, walk out? Like, why did he even go? I thought he fell asleep, honestly, and he just, like, it was too late for him. He fell asleep, and he was like, fuck it. When really, he may have been, maybe he was uh, a Mexican critic for Univision or something. (laughs) (laughs) He might have been a genius, because he realized how shitty Apocalypse that was, and he got his ass out there, and he he went and got a fucking burrito. He probably went and got his dick sucked, or anything actually would have been better than sitting through the... Like, he left I like 30 minutes into it. I want a burrito now. <laughs> I gotta shit myself like I ate a burrito. Um, yeah, so this is just a mess of a movie. And like you said, he got it. He, he left nothing. for a reason. Yeah, because the we movie didn't was see it. Retarded. We were tricked. He, he saw it. He was smart, and we were retarded. <laughs> like, and that's why we like. I movie. think he thought it was apocalypto, <laughs> not apocalypse. Like, wait, this isn't in Spanish. <laughs> they re. They're... He's like, I thought they were gonna re-show it, man. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think yeah, he thought it was apocalypto, but yeah, so that that he realized how shitty the movie was, and we didn't see it. And I think when you fucking put it on a 25 inch screen and just try and watch the movie you realize how fucking garbage it is because it is the mummy oh yeah it is the mummy it fell and, flat and he is emo tap and you're right it doesn't set itself up the story writing is like the dumbest thing ever created because they literally just stole the mummy's plot um because it is the mummy's plot um with, <laughs> on a grander scale i guess but yes it is the plot of the mummy um and uh, the the dialogue so shitty, so I can't even be <laughs> mad at the actors because what we saw in the guy's Scream real... Six dialogue. Yeah, because <laughs> if they made a Scream Six, this is Scream Six. Yeah, exactly. Because what we saw in the gag reel was when they were making up jokes when they couldn't remember their lines. They were just trying to get each other to laugh. They had better acting because it was natural to them. Yeah, which they should have just let them do it and say fuck it. Let's make the X Men comedy movie, right? Like let's do it or just make it. More like less tense, not tense. I mean, like um, less pressured to be this kind of movie. Like, yeah, because they try to it's make outdated. it a comic book. Because it's just outdated, so it just seems stupid. Everything seems fucking stupid about it. Well, I think you're right about millennials, man. Brian Singer just needs to be replaced with a younger, brighter visionary. <laughs> well, that's probably what somebody wants, that'll but... stick strictly to like how. I mean, if you wanted to make a... He literally could have just made Apocalypse bigger, and it would have been a lot better. Well, he could have literally just told them to ad-lib most of their lines. You have, like, the best cast of fucking actors Because, yeah, the script was terrible. Yeah. You the have... script looked like a fucking f- infant wrote it. You're really going to take part in all this killing and destruction? It's all I've ever known. That, an extreme patty cake. No, it isn't. You've just forgotten. And I was thinking that too. I was like, I can't. I almost like it has to be the script because they have a great billing of of people, like actors. Yeah. Like yeah. Most of those people are good actors. It's just like falling apart every time they talk, and you're just like, oh my god. When Magneto sings, that might have been <laughs> the funniest thing in the world. Well, he's a schmelter now. Yeah. In Poland. Schmelt and schmegma. He's like Magneto. <laughs> I am. Uh, he's Magneto. a schmelter. <laughs> Yeah, he, like, <laughs> oh, my God, just, like, the whole point of Magneto. He's, like, a little spoiled child. <laughs> and how one-sided is he, right? Well, he and I get that, you know, the cops who are the most prepared cops of all time shoot your fucking wife and your daughter with one arrow. Best shot um, in the world. I could see him being pissed off, but you killed all those guys, right? Yeah. When you had to expect some sort of recourse... For you being a mass fucking murderer. 
You tried to kill the president at one point. You tried to kill the president. You are known a, mur- a known murderer. And they even were still talking to you like, bro, like, we invited you to my house. We fucking, we cuckolded each other's wives. <laughs> I watched you like, jerk off on. once, man, in the hot tub. Like, come on, man. Brian Singer was there. <laughs> and, um, and... He's, he, he kills them, and he's now like, oh, I have to kill humans. I try to live in their world. I try to actually have a job because no mutants have jobs. Yeah, right. We all just live off Xavier. Um, on the other end, but, though, it is fucked up for them to snitch on him for saving somebody. No, I feel that. But at the same time, it's like you're going to kill every human now. You didn't get your revenge. You just have to be all pissed off. And then the only time that stops you, the only person that stops you is Mystique basically just saying, come on, come on. I mean, it's every come movie. Come on. It's every movie and, at and this And then he was like, all right, zit Charles. That's why. Uh, the, that side is buried of me, Charles. And that's why and the, like, the fucking, the first trilogy is better. Because Magneto doesn't just get away with his shit. He's yeah. menacing, he's truly menacing. He's not just some big baby who, like, flip-flops on what side he wants to be on. Yeah. And they're trying to make him complicated and complex, <laughs> but it's like, no, he's just two-sided and yeah. bipolar. Like, <laughs> fucking... It doesn't... And I get shit goes wrong for him. I get that. But Everything what I'm saying is he goes from zero to a hundred real quick. Yeah, think about fucking like, uh, in the first one. He just goes to murder a dude on a boat. And what does he do to, to like, murder the dude on the boat? Just lifts a fucking giant chain and rips the boat in half. Like, that's his, his go-to. He's just like, I'm going to make everything the most destructive I can. Yeah. Okay. But why him with Apocalypse? I still don't know. Apocalypse has to say one fucking sermon. And Magneto's like, all right, I'm your child. He's like, we'll give them... the daddy I never had. Oh, my God. It's a blue man. And it's like, dude, everything about their dialogue was stupid. And that just that scene specifically, he's like, we'll give them a better one. <laughs> it's like, right? okay, you just... I, and it almost seemed like the dialogue was so stupid that it was, like, to the point where the characters almost couldn't deliver their lines. Because think about it. When he's fucking fighting uh, Charles... when um, Not Magneto... Uh, Apocalypse is fighting Charles in his mind. Yeah. He's like... Which Charles loses, by the way. Yeah, which he does. Does not only Charles have to be saved in every single fucking X-Men movie, he can't even win a fight in his own mind. Exactly. But what what the line that he gives? He goes... He's like, you're not going to win. He's like, why? Because you... He, he, the line... I'm not making this up to make fun of it. He goes, because you're alone and I am not. <laughs> like, that is... Fucking Drax, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. He's literally fucking delivering, like, and that's what it was. It was just a bunch of one, like, just put together fucking gargled lines. Yeah. That's crazy. I I don't know. I don't know. They just fucked up. And every, it's like everything felt mashed. At some point, uh, so they show fucking um, Mystique not wanting to be a hero. Right? Because that's like her whole fucking theme of the fucking... I was so over that after two... I'm over that. I'm over her. And I'm over fucking her and Beast's relationship. Over all of that shit. Her and Magneto's relationship. Um, I'm over all of it. She's like, oh my god. I'm I'm gonna be a fucking cunt female now because I don't want... I don't want to be known as a hero. Okay? So I'm not gonna be blue. (laughs) That's my theme. Right? It's so fucking stupid. It's like, like, shut the fuck up. This is the real me. God, and th- that theme's been going on since the beginning. Yeah. And why did she show up with her, like, her tits out and shit? For no fucking reason? Just to do it. For absolutely no she reason? She could wear clothes. She chooses not to. Th- th- okay, that's my other thing. Why, when she is blue, she, she can't make clothes for herself? Or does she have to make nipples? Does she have to make a <laughs> vagina? There's a lot of questions here about Mystique that I don't know. Because she doesn't have a vagina. Yeah, when she is... She is what some of these people... These um, these weirdos, I'm going to say weirdos because they are weirdos, are trying to do by making themselves genderless aliens. She is a genderless <laughs> I read weird. the article on that. Fucking, that is a weird thing that that's popping up, genderless And of course aliens. it has to be a guy that does it first, right? Yeah, I saw that. Um, and that guy was creepy as fuck looking. He looked like someone that would yeah. kill you in yeah. an alleyway. Like, that's what Marilyn Manson wanted to do if it was appropriate. And he seems like he would, he would try and rape you with his fucking skin 
his only skin, skin his, crotch. Whatever that's going on down there. It's yeah. Disgusting. It um, is fucking gross. And yeah, Mystique is just Why can't she give herself clothes though? Okay, here's the the bigger question is when she transforms into having clothes on, <laughs> can she take those clothes off? And if she does she, what Because happens, she changes clothes. Whatever the fuck she wants. No, yeah, but that's like... So what I'm saying is like... So you know how it's like her skin, I guess, becoming yeah. clothes, right? Can she take those clothes off? And if so, what happens if she takes them off? Does it just like disappear? I don't know. I don't think she fucking urinates her shit either. So if she can like materialize clothes, why doesn't she just materialize a gun in her hand? Or make her hand a gun? Well, no. She did do it against Wolverine. She, she materialized she had claws. claws. Yeah. That's right. But that was attached to... <clears throat> Jesus. That was attached to his DNA. Yeah, but she so, doesn't do it based on DNA. She's just... Looking, I don't... I don't who knows? Who cares? Yeah. Who cares? It's Brian Singer. Uh, he didn't explain anything. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't explain anything. Not in this movie. You're like, um, holy fuck, what's going on? <laughs> From the get-go. Because it's trash. Yeah. It's garbage. Because it's, it's literally... It's the worst movie I've ever seen. Any movie that it's, starts... Like, I swear to God, I feel like I hate this movie more than any movie I've ever seen. I hate it. I hate it, too. I mean, any movie that starts off 3,000 years before it actually takes place, I'm cool. Like, I don't need that much backstory. Oh, and they give you backstory, especially on the history. Sort of. Sort of. (laughs) They sort of, like, visually, yes. But other than that, not really. Okay, so here's my question. Did they start out with the emo tep scene? Well, they start off with the stupid fucking voiceover, oh, God. and then they do the emo tip scene where they're fucking worshiping um, old man fucking apocalypse. Yeah, and they have him come in looking like a goddamn bird. That was stupid. I'm tired of costumes. First of all, just can we have a, no costumes for once? Because that would have looked sicker if they did. Like they don't need to reveal the mutants. Well, apparently he had his costume was like an armor. That's what it looked well. like. But does he even need armor? I don't know. Like, but they made it seem like the armor did something too. Like it was necessary yeah, yeah. to be moved over. Yeah, you're so right. So what? I don't know. And he has his four horsemen at the time. It seemed like he just went back in time and like got an orc and fucking yeah, got was... Xena from fucking. <laughs> That's from right. From sci-fi, he had was, a... <laughs> he was playing World yeah. of Warcraft and he's like superpowers and he just made an orc. And he's transferring his body to um to bald Oscar Isaac. Well, he's transferring you his know. body to to bald Oscar Logan apparently. They try to make Oscar is Oscar Isaac a Persian? I know he's a fucking mutt. He's I think he's Spanish or Mexican yeah. or something or Puerto Rican. <laughs> Poe Dameron. He's from space. He's just brown like most people in Star <laughs> Wars. Um you know, and that yeah, that stupid narration. Oh my god. Mutants. Born with extraordinary abilities. And yet still, they are children, stumbling in the dark, searching for guidance. A gift can often be a curse. Give someone wings and they may fly too close to the sun. Give them the power of prophecy and they may live in fear of the future. Give them the greatest gifts of all, powers beyond imagination. And they may think they are meant to rule the world. At, at least it, the narration this time didn't lead into exactly what it was talking about. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll agree with that. That's it the just went only to the thing I can fuck with. Yeah. Because, and then other than that, like the apocalypse scene, hold, did that just last too long? Was Dude, that it, its it was done on Windows 99. Well, did it last it was, too long or was it not long enough for an introduction? I think... I just think that this scene alone showed how shitty this movie was going to get. Exactly. And I, it, I'm it, trying to figure out where so they So maybe went it did wrong. foreshadow. Yeah. Maybe X-Men did stick to his foreshadow and said, hey, look, this is how shitty this movie this will be. This is the quality you, you can expect from us. Yeah, because even when they're fighting, you're like, holy shit, this looks bad. <laughs> like, I played this on the PlayStation once. PlayStation 1, PS1. Yeah, because what the dude, the one thing I will admit was cool is when the dude did like Sonic Boom and the guys went inside out on the wall. And then when she pretzled up fucking the uh, other Okay, guy. and let's just, let's talk about that. Yeah. I was just telling you this right before we started recording that when she folded the dude up, yeah, the it psychic looked lady. like spa- the Space Jam scene where Monstars took Michael Jordan and folded him up and played him as basketball. <laughs> I'd rather watch that scene than this. <laughs> 
It's true because what is the and then they burned the other guys, the other people that were trying to kill Apocalypse, and um, that looked like the Human Torch from the original. So apparently he was Fantastic hated. Four. No one liked that motherfucker. No, that's why when Apocalypse wakes up, like He's I know I'm little, jumping the pot a little bit. He just sort of gets pissed off. He he doesn't like understand the modern world. Well, because he doesn't understand things, and he's like, "Wait, why am I not God?" And he gets all butt hurt. Purple orgasms everywhere. Because I mean, he essentially is a god. Like I mean, if I, you're that old and you have that many powers, you probably would think you were actually god. Yeah, and apparently he's the original mutant. And that's what I don't get. Okay, so he can transfer his powers, or he can do something with his powers. How? I don't know because that doesn't seem like laying on a tablet while fucking Velveeta cheese comes up your asshole is a mutant power. It seems like technology. And how bad did that look? Oh my god, that was terrible. <laughs> And, and, like I said, though, that's a technology. That's not a power. Yeah. So where's the gold coming from? Is that his... Did he just piss that... Is that his piss? Like, is that what happens? Is he yeah, just he's peeing himself as he's dying. Yeah, no, he just pees... That's how he fills it up first. He's like, well, the designs are just all fucking stupid. I just like the designs. What the real trick is I just pee in the basin here and fucking... So I switch powers. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. That was no. That's ancient aliens. I'm actually. still trying to figure out like why he was blue. I just wanted me to explain that. Um, why he's a blue fuck? Because he was alone. He's sad. <sighs> or purple, whatever the fuck he is. Um. Yeah. Apparently, well, because he, well, he wasn't as a comic. He, that's he, why. When he gets when he gets woken up, he apparently woke wake and bake for like two years. Uh, yeah. Because he was fucking stoned. Yeah. He looked he looked high as shit throughout. He the did not look movie. scary. Because remember in the comics, he had like. It was this weird drawn-on smile. Yeah. Like, he, like, sort of looked like, you know, like a crazy bald Latino woman. <laughs> like a chola with fucking no hair. And he was menacing in the in the, in the the uh, the comics and the uh, cartoon, but in this movie, he just looks stoned, and he's hella small. Yeah, he's, like he's sort of short, huh? He doesn't like he's look as short as Xavier while he's in the chair. <laughs> They might as well have made Apocalypse a midget. At least that would have uh, been cool. That would have been funnier. That would have been a great um, movie. But no, yeah, so they fucking... Um, he gets betrayed, I guess, right? Yeah, well... Yeah. And then it's falling apart, like this movie. Yeah, well, because somebody... that Well, they had this whole thing planned, and they dropped the rock with the arrow. And that hits the magical stone pillar, which knocks down the magical fucking pyramid. Yeah, because they have a giant gold. That he fucking pisses out. Yeah, and that's that's how he transfers his powers to people, and he becomes Apocalypse. And I guess and he, he dies, transfers bodies. He what dies mid transfer? Yeah, well, he doesn't die because this put, chick puts him in another psychic cocoon that we see in this series. As she's falling, she's like transferring over the armor. That's what was like a fucking eighties movie. A telekinetic cocoon. Yeah, and um, then it's that's thank God she sacrifices herself to save him. Because she so, knows he's a god. Now Apocalypse is in a cocoon, right? Um, probably the worst beginning I've ever seen. No, the next thing is the worst oh ever my because god. it's the fucking traveling through the time tunnel like they do yeah, in every. Like, fucking bro, we get movie. world history, okay? And then they we don't need to be shown Jesus. They show Jesus, the Mona Lisa, Nazis, Soviets. And Harry Potter, I think. Yeah, at some point, <laughs> I think they were maybe talking about, they were just like, hey, remember that other movie this dude did? And fucking, and it was because it was just like New York and fucking cards falling. Like, I was like, okay. Or like Las Vegas and cards falling. I was like, yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, Texas Hold'em was brought in uh, <laughs> yeah. the 90s. We should let people know that. And that's what like, I'm saying. Like, bro, I don't need a fucking history lesson. And then okay. it, it ends with the classic fucking Cerebro Doors because that's how you know it was a singer movie. Not to mention the fact that... Seven like, fucking times. Seven... Just... I thought that was a joke at first, and, the, like, I am thought... I made that as a joke. Like, not made it up as a joke, but I was just saying that because I wasn't sure that all of them actually finished yeah. with this. They all actually do that at the beginning. Yeah. It's so fucking stupid. Yeah. And that's what... The problem with the X-Men movies, they keep jumping back to what they did before, and they keep up to shouting out shit they did before. It's like, stop it. Yeah, because there was ten minutes of the first class in this movie. There was... Because Brian Singer wanted to do Nazis. <laughs> and he's jealous about it still. Um, oh, God. And then we go to the Coke Boy High School. Yeah. Um, the should have been sued teacher, right? Yeah, because she just sort of let this kid get beat up. Which she, I mean, obviously, he didn't, the, the kid that got beat up wasn't the one that we expected to get beat yeah. up. But 
Scott Summers is having some class issues. Yeah. Wink in his eyes. Well, he's just too high. Well, That's yeah. really what it is. He smoked his brother a gave joint. him the super meth, and he was just like, my eyes are fucking on fire. <laughs> and he's and the one dude's like, so, hey, man, you winking at my bitch? He didn't even look like he was winking at all. No. He looked like he was spazzing. He was, yeah, literally, it was both like, eyes. Dude, you winking at my girl? He's like, no, I just, I can only <laughs> close one eye at a time. I'm fucking really high, okay? I have to close each eye separately. <laughs> To not winking. And the teacher being a fucking bitch as she is, she's like, so what's going on, Scott? Even though the the kid started it with him, he's like, can I, I can I use the bathroom? I, like, there's something wrong with my eye. Like, any good teacher, they should be like, oh, yeah, sure, go ahead, get a pass. She's like, how about you go and you could fucking stop on your way off and go talk to Principal Kalunky. <laughs> You right. know where to go. You know where to go. He's like, all right. Well, that's because like, he's a he's a troublemaker. He's the kid. Like I said, his brother is a drug dealer. <laughs> no one really wants to fuck with him. That makes him an angry kid. So he just is a sarcastic little prick. And, well, what ends up happening is... Because they do show he is a little prick. Like He is a prick throughout most of the movie. Um, with his fuckboy haircut. Yeah, but those glasses end up being fresh. Um, yeah. But yeah, he looks so, like he fucking he looks like Grayson Allen from Duke. <laughs> but yeah, they so um, fucking his uh what the, what makes the teacher even worse is she tells him to go. The bell rings. She tells them to stay. Yeah. And then the bully just gets well, yeah, up. Yeah. She leaves. tells him to stay after the bell, which you're also not supposed to do as a teacher. No. No, not at all. And then the bully just gets up and leaves, and she doesn't say shit to him. Like, bitch, did you just not notice that someone, the biggest dude in your class, just left your class? Right. Like, from the back row. And um, Cyclops apparently had diarrhea. That's what that's, that's what brings up his powers. It's not puberty or nothing. It's when he has to take a massive dump. He doesn't have di- He's like, oh. He has, like, eye di- like laser diarrhea. <laughs> well, is any liquid coming out of him a laser? Well, he's like, this is what happens to summers when we get pink eye. It's when my brother can shoot out of his chest. He had a staph infection there. Oh, Jesus. It's like, Whoa. It's just how we get sick. It's a summer's genetic trait. And the bully comes in just to, like, bother him and knock on the door, essentially. Even though he could easily just knock that door in. He doesn't yeah. want to see him diary either because everyone knows about summers. Yeah, because he even he's, he's like, like, hey, bro, you cool? <laughs> You're crying already. I didn't even whoop your ass. <laughs> like, God, dude, like, did Brian Singer watch a bunch of 80s movies before he made this? Because that's what it seems like. <laughs> I know, right? He looks like he's like every 80s bully, bro. Like, you didn't even give me a chance to kick your ass, bro. Are you crying? I haven't even kicked your ass yet. Um, and Cyclops kills him. You would think kills that him. That killed him. Because Cyclops He's has to dead. blow up his school the third fucking time in X-Men. Right? He's like, I can't hold it. He diarrheas and fucking shoots up the ceiling. I'm not going to lie, though. The um, effects they used for this laser hitting shit might be the cooler. best in all yeah. of them. Yeah. The one thing um, they got right. Yeah, but uh, you would think he kills him. You have to assume he, that that kid is dead, or at least. But he f- fucking lives. Whoa. He got staph infection from getting hit in the porta potty in his eye. Yeah, because that kid's <laughs> face went to the floor. He fucked him up though. Um, and then you know, then of course uh, immediately we go into a cutscene. So what? Let's go th- like through this movie so far. We have a stupid. X Men narrative of Xavier. We have the apocalypse scene. We have then, going through history montage and puberty. cut to Cyclops, and then now we're at Angel being a douchebag cage fighter. Yeah, it has made no sense so far because that's the next scene is Angel versus fucking. Uh, it's a TV show, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's a fucking TV show. It's the first episode. The, the, the pilot yeah. to a fucking TV show, essentially. It is, because it's literally introducing every character individually. And there's been no bit of good dialogue at all. Not at all. Even in this... Well, okay. It seems like in this movie, the only people that deliver good or convincing dialogue is when when it's in another language. Because that announcer was fresh. And he made you believe that he was the announcer. He was like Tim Burton. It was like Tim Burton-ish looking. Yeah, no, exactly. (laughs) He had the ridiculous mustache, some weird-ass pompadour, and he was... I'm pretty sure he was wearing a dress. Yeah. But I'm not sure on that. He was funky fresh. But that was a dumb scene, too. They should have just made a movie with him and Quicksilver. <laughs> like, that should have been the movie. They're paired up, and they're just like, yeah. Or on Lil Uzi Vert, and they yeah. just go, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, um, 
And we show Mystique not being a hero. She's like, hey, guys, don't get near me. I'm an anti-hero. I'm not a hero, but My I'm saving him. My titties are out. Look at him. <laughs> she, she's like, I'm not a hero, but I'm saving him. Yeah. Like, okay, okay. I'm not a hero, but I'm saving him. I'm going to shut down the mutant fight club. What she does by blowing up a generator. So instead of turning it off, which would have freed them, she yeah. blows it up, which um, arguably didn't help anybody. Yeah. And we see we see Nightcrawler in his fucking um, my girl likes to party all the time Eddie Murphy jacket. Yeah, bro, he came like out a fucking hot topic. No, no, did he have that jacket then, or did he come out in the Prince fit? I don't know. I think he might have came out in the Prince fit on this one because he had like a, a longer jacket, right? And you would assume he could kick Angel's ass. Like, what does Angel have as an advantage? What is a- what has Angel ever been? Why is he recruited? Well, they show you in this these movie? little claw things on his feathers. Maybe. So he can fly and he has claws. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a drunk Irishman or a fucking Englishman or something like that. And that's always a good thing to have on a team. Yeah, he looked like he he failed as a drummer for fucking a punk like rock Led band, Zeppelin. a cover punk rock band. Bro. He fuck, they're like, dude, your wings were fucking up the set, all right? It's like, I get yeah. it, fucking, you wanted to be part of the Sex Pistols, bro, but you're just, you're not. You're not. Stop fighting. Um, and why was she there? To save him? A cage fighter? To save some cage fighters? I guess. Just to save mutants. Yeah. She's going around, because she basically... I wasn't it. mad at the fight, though. The fight I was wasn't cool, mad at it. Except for Kurt bitches out. <laughs> he's like, sorry, sorry. Yeah, he defucks him up. And he he's like, oh, I'm up. sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think it's just too hard to do fucking... <laughs> Um, too much for him, I think. Like, it's like he attacks and he's so religious, he's like... because oh. he's autistic. Well, he, he attacks, he's religious, and then he's like, Our Father of God in heaven, how would be thy name? I'm sorry. I did not mean to attack him in the cage. I just had... We had to fight or die. So I said, and that's what Angel tells him. He's like, bro, they'll shoot us, man. They got militia. Yeah, I've been sitting here drinking post blue ribbon. And that was that was all uh, right. And like I said, she blows the fucking thing up and Angel's a fucking asshole. Angel's this is a complete afterthought. He's a douchebag. He's even an asshole. Like they don't make you feel bad for him later on either. Yeah, because he has a white man perm. Well, not just that, he's a drunk and a baby. <laughs> it's like, why would you care? <laughs> he might be as worse than Wolverine because he as you see, he's just living in this barn that apparently he doesn't own and is just completely vacated. Just hammered, and he throws <laughs> bottles at people that show up. Like, what an asshole! Yeah, Should I say piss off? Well, and they're like, they try to make you feel bad. Like, well, his wing got fucked up. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, yeah, he was killing people. Like, <laughs> I mean, killing. He had. He was marking it in the ground. He was killing people. Yeah. So he was. He was like one of those gladiators that, like, yeah, might have been forced into it, but he does not mad that he was there. Yeah. He was just there to fuck people up. And Mystique, in classic fashion, uses her sexuality to uh, fuck the guard to up. To pimp and a German. Them. Yeah, and she blows the shit up. They get free, I guess. Yeah. And then he's like, your her. <laughs> your Mystique. And then she just goes, yeah, fuck you. We're going to go see my weird. Why does he look so whack and gay? Because he's the 80s. Like, he had the fucking the emo haircut. Ugh. He's just he I, he's a hard character. It's like Beast. It's a hard character to visualize. They did it perf. They did it perfectly, before. Yeah, well, with two specific actors, it's hard to take that same type of makeup like and just apply it to anybody else. And then that's true. Was this kid even German? I don't know. He, he looked, looked like he looked Indian. <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. He looked like an Indian. So, or <laughs> but Indians sound something. like that too. They play cricket. Well, yeah, because they're fucking English, essentially. <laughs> That's what I mean. They're English, but instead of, like, crumplets and shit, they eat. Crumpl- fucking... Crumplets? Crumplets. Mean... <laughs> crumplets. <laughs> that sounds like something you get in the South. It's like, yo, you got them crumplets, man? Yeah. And now, uh, so Magneto's a <laughs> smelter, right? <laughs> he's a fucking smelter. Yeah, he's doing, he's living um, the, the, the... The Polish lifestyle. I'm fucking bored. At this point, yeah. yeah. Like, Mystique and Nightcrawler, and I'll, I'll jump this plot. Mystique and Nightcrawler get away, essentially. That's what happens at the fucking yeah, cage fuck that fight. Shit. Irrelevant. And um, you don't see them for 40 fucking minutes after that. Yeah, because and they, they try and on, make you give a fuck. They go on this extended-ass <laughs> Magneto scene. Yeah. Um, he's a schmelter, and 
His daughter has is apparently friends with reindeer. That's well, her power. She, her she power can be is friends like with animals. Animals, yeah. Her her power Whoa. is animals. <laughs> um, and Magneto sings. He yeah. sings a lullaby. And she's like, where did you learn that, Daddy? He's like, I learned that from my parents. And they taught it. They learned it from theirs. And they learned it from faggots. <laughs> they went on a cruise. And he's like, oh. And he looks at her, he's like, daughter. Daughter. Because we don't know your name. What's her name? Daughter. Daughter. <laughs> um, I work in a fucking metal factory, all right? My power is metal, and I work in a fucking metal factory. Uh, wouldn't um, it be sick if he could... That would have been a... Big... That was it. He sang, and that was it. Yeah, and he looked at his wife, and he's like, our family's so great. <laughs> Charles. We're pulling, Charles. Um, and then we see 80s Havoc, who apparently has gotten his way in all three movies. And he was just taking a break, selling some meth, some crack. Bro, doesn't he blow. like... And, he's and I feel like his, his whole X-Men movie career is him taking breaks. Well, yeah. That's all he <laughs> does is take a break. He's like, hey, hey, I'm here. They're always like, oh, hey, Alex Severs? Yeah. Because every fucking X-Men has to say their name as they arrive to each other. That's oh, is that, is, they, is that Charles Xavier? He's like, don't, wait, wait. Don't tell me that's Alex Summers. Hank McCoy. Hank McCoy. <laughs> It's like, damn, Lando. <laughs> no, and he comes in looking like what you th- expect Lando to dress like. Yeah, he's D Boy Fresh. And don't bro. they have like a fucking. Is, is that a Mustang or something they're driving? Some like white fucking yeah. like dope car. Yeah, some drug dealer car. Like a, it's a drug 70s car. drug dealer car. Yeah. And he fucking. Professor X once again halts a class to talk to his friends. He's like that's in the a middle. theme in X Men. Yeah, no, he doesn't halt the class. He ends the class. Oh, he's yeah, like, he ends it. Because he's spinning in a fucking chair. He's like, if we lived forwards and backwards, would this reality be real? And, and they're am like, I real, kids? And they're like, wait, forwards, are you talking about a double sided <laughs> dildo? What? <laughs> As he's spinning in his fucking chair. Yeah, he's spinning, and he just goes like, he's in the middle of like bringing up a point that they should think about, like in class, and he's like, that'll be your homework. It's like, wait, discuss at home? <laughs> What? <laughs> no, because as they show when uh, Mystique has her fucking pep talk to the New Age X-Men in the later part of the movie, the school doesn't matter at the X-Men Academy. Because she's like, forget what you learn in school. All that stupid anyways. Because half of the successful X-Men actually didn't go to the school. But yeah, they, they just teach. showed up and fought. <laughs> but they can teach. Because let's not forget that Wolverine was a teacher at the X-Men Academy. I mean, a substitute, but yeah, he was a teacher, and he was like, like, oh, you're teaching history today, Logan. He's like, yeah, fucking live through it. Yeah, I'll tell, I'll tell you the history of homelessness, and I'm part of all 300 years of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's like, I'm the one who actually invented the Hooverville. He invented the under-the-bridge living. Yeah. He's like, Tent Towns, that was my idea. I was like, hey, you want to be homeless with me? Let's put our tents together. The homeless guy was like, uh, that's a great idea. Oh man. And um and as they as they arrive as uh, Cyclops and Havoc arrive, Cyclops has bandage around his eyes, right? And this is might be the funniest scene. Makes me X-Men. laugh every time. Uh first off, it's a Harry Potter cop <laughs> because he bumps into fucking Gene Jean Grey, bro. Oh my Jean god. Jean fucking Grey. This chick's like, like not a bad actor in yeah, the actress. Shit, she's yeah. an actress, but in this, she's like her voice. She like changes her voice or something. It, yeah, they were like, be as monotone as possible. I didn't say baritone. I said fucking monotone. Okay. <laughs> like she sound. She is Patrick Star. <laughs> How is everything becoming SpongeBob now? It's apparently this is, is SpongeBob episode. Um. Uh, and like this, and this is when the fucking 2003 college horror movie fucking dialogue really starts going on. He bumps into her and she like fixes all of her nose. She's like, I can't lose that. She's like, he's like, what was that? Or she's like, watch where you're going. It's like, so I call, it's like, bitch, I'm fucking blind. I got bandage around my eyes. You dumb hoe. What the <laughs> it's fuck? True. And she, 
He's and then he talks out loud. Alex Summers is like, wait, who, who, who are you talking? You said my name out loud. <laughs> Don't say my fucking name. My name is my name. My name is in the streets. My name. My keep my name out your mouth, bitch. Um, <laughs> and she's like, oh, I'm a telepath. <laughs> I can I can read your mind. He's like, well, stay out of my mind, you, you cunt. creepy cunt. <laughs> like, don't worry, there's nothing in there but you thinking about my titties, what they would look like. Oh, probably oh. saggy and miscolored and mismatched. With that voice, yeah, because you sound like a fifty year old smoker. Um, yeah, and then you know that's when we see Xavier being handicapped and talking about living forwards and backwards. Yeah, and then they go um, test out Scott's powers. <laughs> that that was the point of this scene, <laughs> right? Like, he's like, take off your bandage. I know I've heard of this, but you, I know you could kill everyone as soon as you open your eyes. He's like, trust but me. I you destroyed my favorite tree. It's like my grandpa planted that tree. He stuck his dick right into the ground, threw an acorn in. Um, and he's like, so that's me I'm expelled. He's like, quite the opposite. You are enrolled. That's what that I'm gets s- you enrolled in X-Men. But not is, only- is Xavier having a fucking boner to your powers? But not only that, it's like, that is a good example, too. Of why the dialogue is so shitty, because he could have just like the way and the pacing of the dialogue is so shitty. Because he looked at him, he's like, certainly not. <laughs> he's already goes quite the opposite, and he pauses for how long? They could just left at that. And why is Xavier extra? Like, why did when this dude Patrick Stewart goes into um, this his name right? Patrick Stewart is the <laughs> old guy. Not the old guy. <laughs> Who is this guy? McAvoy. What's his name? James. That's his name. <laughs> James McAvoy. Yeah. Um. Why does he look extra pervy in this one? And we watched the gag reel, and he did some pervy things. Because they're all over it at this point. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, this is the last one we're signed Maybe on he to. knows Xavier's a perv. Like, from because, you know, they you expect them to read hell, hell of the comics and watch He's the He's like, perv. yeah, according to issue 17, AB9. I'm supposed it's, to be a perv. I'm supposed to, like, he, he tricked Israelis into getting over the PTSD and sucking his dick, and that's how Legion was created. Oh. Yeah, uh, and McAvoy would go that crazy and do that. But he's extra pervy. Um, and he lets the D-Boy Summers in, yeah. into the school. Well, because so, he needs so, a... <laughs> so, again, again, all of these scenes have no cohesion to each other, no relevance to each other. They're just happening. This well, is the... This is... Because it should be a fucking show. This yeah. should be a show. Like I said, it is a pilot none of episode. This makes sense. setting everything up with a very loose plot. And this is 40 minutes into the movie so far. And about halfway through, the movie just flips into a whole other movie. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, and then Apocalypse has, this is, you know, conveniently, Myra, the CIA agent, is in Moira. Egypt exactly at the time that these guys are praying. Not only is she and, in Egypt, but she's being dumb in Egypt again. Well, she caused the awakening of the Apocalypse. Well, no one knows how no one ever <laughs> left that carpet off before. Apparently, just sun. The sun. He just needs sun. And it was a perfect angle, and no one had bothered to take that carpet off before. Like, it just always, that carpet has always been there. Yeah. What the and, fuck? And her being a CIA agent means she can just knock out a guy without questioning him or handcuffing him or anything. Bro, she, she just knocked knock him, him the, the fuck, fuck out. out, though. Yeah, that's what I mean, but she can just do that. I apparently. think she killed him because she crushed his windpipe, then knocked him out. There's no way he's coming back from that. He's choking to death. Well, he was still knocked out by the time she left. That's what I'm saying. He was she, on the ground. He was dead. He couldn't <laughs> breathe. She broke his windpipe, and he died. But she is the whole reason why Apocalypse lives. Her. Yeah, being she dumb. Is. Again. Because just like Mummy, what's happening? Four guys are around, or a clan of people are around, praying Shrine. to him, waking him up with, like, shrines and shit. Yeah, because like it's just that time of the fucking year in <laughs> Egypt to start and raising she was conveniently there for all of it. And the cause of why the fucking sun got in. Well, that's the reason he had an orgasm when he woke up, because he had imagined her. He's like, I know there's a lady. It was an orgasm. He oh, rolled yeah. it. His tur- toes were curling. His eyes were rolling back. He fucking purple orgasm everywhere. <laughs> He busted um, a fat nut. Yeah, that's no, a blue exactly. Ball nut. He, he, that's why he was blue. His fucking whole body turned blue. He busted such a fat nut, it vaporized the stone around him and caused dust to shoot out of a hole and kill like 13 Arab people. And cause a whole world earthquake tremor. Yeah. He caused a fucking earthquake. Around the world. And as we show, because the way this movie has to fucking rotate. Oh, it's Magneto's turn now. What's he up to? 
Oh, some guy almost died from a fucking giant metal pot, and, and he, he has to use him. his power. And he like just uh, like goes back to work. He like yeah. looks around for a second. He's like, "Well, people just saw me. I should probably leave, but I'm gonna stay at work." <laughs> um, and that's when we see Jean Grey having her memories of how she became a fucking man. Well, she sees the, end, <laughs> which was the end of her world, um, um, her man's world at least. She's burning some things. And this is probably the most pervy we've ever seen Xavier. Yeah, because Xavier um, actually tries he, to First get... off, let, let's 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 paint this picture. He tells Beast, he's like, make sure no children come in here. Then he goes up to Jean and he's talking to her and she's like all sweaty and he's like, oh, he's, you can tell he's kind of getting hard even though he can't because he has no dick anymore or his <sighs> dick doesn't work. And um, he hops, he about, he's about to hop into the bed with her. He like struggles to get into it. He's like, Ugh. Yeah, he's trying. He, like, he's like, has to get into bed with he her. He gets to bed on her so he can touch her. And even Beast sort of looks at him like, dude, what are you... Like, this is very fucking unprofessional, dude. And he's just like, oh, well, I just... Uh, you know, my dick doesn't work, wink, wink. She's like, I keep having dreams. She's like, I saw the end of the world. He's like, it's just your power, Gray. And she's he like... He was blue. His penis was purple. Like yours. He's like, how'd you know? I can see into your mind. I'm a telepath. Oh, yes. I can see into yours as well. <laughs> and after he has his weird mind fucking with um, her, um, uh, he's like, he tell, he's like, we must look at this tremor now. Yeah, and they go to um, Cerebro and he pedos out on fucking, well, not pedos out, yeah. he fucking pervs out. It pervs out. <laughs> On Moira, because instead of like seeing that she was at the epicenter of the earthquake, yeah. he just sort of smiles. He's like, "Oh, it's oh, Moira." Instead Moira. of being like, "Oh shit, what happened here? Is she gonna yeah. be okay?" Yeah, he got a little hard. <laughs> and and oh, just to speak on the Jean Grey, what was hinted there? Brian Singer's fucking infatuation, his real boner with older men with Phoenix. Oh. oh, I thought you meant with older men being weird around children. Yeah, well, he like he definitely likes that. That's number one. That's number one. That's su- but that's it's that the and, first then, and then the fucking starts. Phoenix, and then the Phoenix. Yeah. Oh God. I think it's just Jean Grey getting her period. It's I think something. she has the worst period in it's the history of man. Something inside of me. <laughs> it's getting stronger. I can feel it. It's like yeah, because you're taking steroids. <laughs> um, yeah, I think she's just on her period, and um, and she keeps getting weird vibes from Xavier, so it's like, you know? I'd probably be the same way, too. She's probably developing the Phoenix to save herself from being molested by Xavier. Well, that's like, um, um you know, like, like you know, that's her demon that was created by the semen of a hundred men. Yeah, because she is kind of like a whore, too. She's just like, oh, hey, you have sunglasses now. I'll fuck you. They're not afraid of you. Um... So, yeah, you're right. Zer- Xavier purrs out, and he's like, oh, hey, Myra. And, and Beast is like, how is she, dude? And, like, Beast is sort of tired of his perv shit. Like, Beast he's is like, like, dude, how is she? she? He's like, oh, I mean, she's, like, stacked, bro. She has, like, titties now and shit. Like, and Beast just, and like, Beast sort of like, slaps bro, his like, face. I mean, he's like, like, bro, uh, fuck. Like, yeah, this is why our school is always under scandals, man. Well, that's why he uh, fucking likes the Summers family, because they're the ones that actually pay the tuition. Like in cash, in cash, he's like, I need that shit up front, bro. <laughs> he was like, I'm trying to buy a fucking basketball court that becomes a hanger. And so he purrs out on her. He's like, Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, check her out. I mean, uh, check out what's going on. He's like, I'm gonna ask her about the trembles. Yeah, the, wait, the there wasn't like a tremble, right? Like a world earthquake. My bad. Uh, he's yeah. like, No, I'm just talking about the trembles in my dick. And so this is when Magneto, like, of course, choppy as fuck, choppy as fuck. Magneto is like. Oh, man, like, we gotta get the fuck out. He tells his wife, he's like, look, bitch, like, I told you what was going on. Like, I'm a fucking villain. Let's get the fuck out of here. Movie plot has to progress. Let's go. <laughs> and she's like, okay. Uh. And he's they're like, like, wait, where's where's our daughter? Is she, can, is she fucking reindeer again? And he's like, God, can she stop feeding the animals? I have told you not to leave food out. I have told you this. And it's like the same well, argument she's a dad now. I hear my neighbors have about raccoons when he's arguing with his wife. He's like, I told you not to leave fucking food out. Now we got fucking raccoons. That's right. how he is. Like, now I got some fucking reindeers. You keep calling them her friends. You think that's fucking discouraging it or encouraging it, you dummy? Right. He just gets heated at his lady. <laughs> um, and his daughter, you know. First off, let's talk about the police. These are the most equipped 
upgraded smart police because they actually well, they actually prepared. downgraded. I know, they but took that's all what the I technology mean. away in metal. Well, they upgraded in mutant world. Yeah, <laughs> to him that's an upgrade. Until like, they until we find the other mutant that controls wood, which <laughs> actually wasn't Logan. So hey, hey, you're right. Um. But at least they came equipped because most people will still be like, oh, yeah, he controls metal, but yeah, let's bring our guns, yeah. And so the dude's like, Magneto, it's you. We're going to rope you up, brah. He's like, and you came to my house and ate with my daughter. <laughs> and then you ate to my daughter. And they weren't being like super dicks about it. They were actually sort of like lecturing him. Yeah, they were sort of like, why would... They, yeah, they weren't, like, saying, like, you're a bad dude. They were more of like, why would you do this to us? Yeah, come on, man. Like, you just... were the cool... You were cool, man. <laughs> but what's like, weird about that is why? Why Why don't they... Aren't they more aggressive? Because really, they should just clap them. Uh, well, <laughs> some clapping does happen. Yeah, well, with yeah. the luckiest shot in the history of mankind. Um, well, the most accidentally lucky <laughs> shot. Yeah, the British wish they had this dude for Last of the Mohicans, I'll tell you what. So do you think that the world has trained in, like, since Magneto is the most known mutant and they perceive him as being, like, the biggest Yeah, he's threat? like the, Ma- he is the Malcolm X. He's of, Ma- of he is Osama Bin Laden of mutants. Like, he just goes into hiding, but the whole world's looking for him, right? So, like, did Even they... though he's, like, in plain sight somehow. Yeah, so do they train every police force to, like, have Magneto free? Magneto. Yeah, Magneto free loadouts. Like, they just all that, go with, like, fucking... Uh, apparently, it's the same thing you need to wrestle a pig, so... A bunch of uh, arrows. That his daughter can talk to um, and make you eat. And he's like, uh, no zippers? He's like, they have buttons. Like, yeah, what the hell kind of question was that? <laughs> yeah. He's like, B- didn't you know that... I thing? think Eric was just respecting game. I think at that point, he was like, damn, you guys even thought the zippers through? Good well, shit. maybe, maybe, because, like, Eric... He sort of does just give in. Yeah. He's sort of like, all right, like, well, can what? you just give me my kid? Like, I think he knows that he's he ha- he was on the run, but he's not trying to fucking just kill people anymore. I think he was tired of his daughter and his annoying fucking wife. Yeah, he's like, can and they just like, go I'm put I'm tired me of him talking to... I don't even really like animals. You always got him fucking around, those goddamn reindeer. My, uh, <laughs> my, my, my wife doesn't shut the fuck up. I told her I was a villain about ten years ago. Yeah, and yeah. basically he's like, can you just take me to the glass prison so I can play fucking chess with a cripple once a week? <laughs> They're like, oh fuck, I guess. Um, yeah, so the guy accidentally kills his his uh, wife and kid with with the lucky shot. Yeah, he gets like bumped and, and just loses the arrow. <laughs> ah! Whoops! Uh, <laughs> and even the guy's like, bro, how did you do that? You don't know, bro. Because the and, that was his mutant power. <laughs> um, and Eric, of course, being as short sighted as he is, just goes insane and kills all of them with. A locket, right? Yeah, a Yondu yeah. scene. A Yondu fucking arrow scene. Um, that shit was. And that's like, what he's like, is this who I am? Is this who you want me to be? <laughs> 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 yeah, he just cries. He am just, I real? And who is he talking to at that point? Is he talking to Charles? I think he's talking. <laughs> I think he's talking to Charles. <laughs> Like, in his mind, he thinks... Damn you, Charles! He thinks this will make it to Charles. Like, but because that's how the x and sort works. They're all pretty fucking dumb. Is this what you want from me? Is this what I am? Is this what I am? Yeah. So. And it just sort of, like, this almost put the emphasis that they're, tr- like, X Men almost deliberately is trying to fuck Magneto's life. <laughs> the X Men comic writers and writers are just purposely trying to fuck his life. Because now you went, you resorted to one arrow shot in between his wife and daughter. Yeah, the dopest that, arrow shot in the world killed That's two what people. you resorted to? And like, they're, they're just trying to force. A new his wife and daughter. Day. Yeah. Because as you see, like, he gets all butthurt and pissed off and he starts acting like a 16 year old child. He's like, Charles, this is who I am. Like I'll commit, I'll cut myself when I want to. (laughs) Like that's who he is now. Right. Like he's like, no one can accept me for who I am. I'm a mass murderer. I was just, I just gotta be that way. He's like, this is just, I'm sorry guys, but you know, this is how I'm expressing myself now. Um, and he blames all of the humans, all of the humans for one, you know, ragtag group of cops that accidentally killed his fucking wife. And the only reason they accidentally killed them was because of his daughter's power. So they yeah. weren't even trying to do it. And 
Exactly. And he, it's, he didn't do enough to shut her up. <laughs> She's over there calling fucking vultures and shit. I'd be I'd shoot <laughs> something, too. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, all they want to do is fucking, like, you can tell, too, the moment the arrow hits them, like, they're all fucking, like, oh, shit, we're going to Yeah. <laughs> what? Where's the metal object he's pulling from? Well, the, um, apparently a fucking, the locket of his daughter. What a good way to honor her memory. It's weird because, you know, that's when he starts going Magneto-ish, right? Well, yeah. Um, he's like, I'm going to go kill the smelting factory. They made me bad pole sausages one day. I was on the toilet for fucking hours. <laughs> shit pissed me off. That's um, right. That's... So he so he gets all crazy, right? But when he gets convinced later in the movie to like go to good, it was just basically like, "Hey, you want to um switch teams now? Well, Will that, that benefit this movie?" And he's like, "And you, Quicksilver, you sort of look like my sperm." He's like, "I swim <laughs> fast like it too." But and that's all it took was like, "Hey." Come join the X-Men again. It's all right. Things are all right now. Well, she did get choked out, and he felt like his boner started to, like, fall apart. <laughs> he was like, oh, shit. Yeah, because that's what activates his fucking magnetic balls that he can fucking float in is his boner. Is being able to jizz in a woman that doesn't have a vagina. Um, And then they, so, yeah, so all that felt forced, and then they cut over to, um, you know, Apocalypse being pissed off at the world. The world. The new world. <laughs> He's just He's walking. Like, mm. Just walking Ugh. along, almost gets hit by a Rolls Royce. He's like hip hop, hip hop. Who is Duran no Duran? More. No more super bands. Um, and he meets fucking Aladdin Storm, who's stealing a bread for her monkey, whatever the fuck she was doing. Well, and then her, the extent of her power uh, was to blow make something a dust over. Storm. Yeah. So she'd be useful in Oklahoma. Cool. She'd be useful doing nothing. <laughs> Apparently, stealing was the job for her. And um. Apocalypse tries to recruit, um, like a like a woman's college basketball coach. He's out there in fucking Cairo recruiting. <laughs> um, he recruits in the dopest way possible, though. Yeah, he killed. Well, some dude was like in a rape storm, I believe. Well, yeah, um, he took his knife and he out. kills him with the sand. The sand. He decapitates. Which is Apocalypse's greatest weapon, apparently, is sand. Well, because considerably, everything in his world was made out of some bit of sand. Sand and metal. <laughs> Yeah, and he cuts so, three dudes' heads off. Yeah, and then he. So what? that was dope. We have to give credit for that, right? It was. It was one of the better ones. The guy was like, "Bro, what are you speaking? Some jungle speak?" He's like, "No more." <laughs> and he fucking kills him. And um, Storm fucking invites him to her house, like on some weirdo shit. That was weird. She's like, "Hey, just come to my house." Yeah, let's go, man. I got, this I blue got dude some... just came out of nowhere, and he looked stoned as fuck, and he murdered people with sand, but let's go to my house. I got a little bit of food. I got some crackers. And then Apocalypse sees Mystique with his stone. He's so stoned, his eyelids, I feel like, move three times slower than a normal human being. Bro. That you have to give Oscar Isaac. Is How did... That was his go-to. That was perfect. How did he train himself to just look slower across the fucking... Because he was stoned the whole time. <laughs> yeah, he was like a... He's like, the more purple I smoke, the more purple I get. He's like, no more blunts, no more joints, no more bong ribs. And um, she's like, oh, you see, Mystique, I want to be like her. That's my hero, hero. Let's eat gazelle meat. Oh, and then uh, in one of the, this is what I hated so much about this movie, too, is it transitions to fucking, to scene after scene, nothingness. Nothingness, because what, yeah. what did God. that set up? It's like, let's Nothing. go to her house. Okay, uh, I guess the next You're scene... one of our horsemen. <laughs> yeah, I guess the next scene we'll see oh, him at her house. Yeah. Like, and that's where she's, she's, like, she's like, dude, what are you looking at? Like, He's like, learning. And that's when he apparently developed an X-Men power to fucking read through TV. No, that like, hasn't happened yet. First, oh, Havoc and Professor X go see fucking Moira. Oh, that, that hasn't happened yet? Yeah. That's right. The first, well, she invites oh, him to her right. house, and then I think the house scene comes after this bullshit oh, scene. Yeah. Because now Havoc's just I know what you it. did last summer, fucking eight. <laughs> I know what you did last fucking fall. Dude, like, it is it, cool it, how he freezes the whole room, though. As they yeah. walk in. What is that, the CIA? What does she work for? Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember now, yeah. He goes, yeah, he's like, hey, I want to mind fuck Myra one more time. He's like, Xavier's. He like looks and he he's sees a you. super he's a super perv. Like he's a perv in this movie. Do you think in in her mind when he took out all the memories he just left in the one of his dick? 
And she just has random flashbacks of this one dick. But when he sees no her, clue. he's sort of like, hmm, you have a son. I think I'm going to fuck you now. No, oh, wait, well, he's sort of like, like oh, who's shit. the son's husband? Yeah. The son's father, I mean. He's She's like, like, oh, some black guy I met. Yeah, he's about to freak out. He's like, I ain't taking care of no bastard kid. I'll tell you that much, but I'm still down to bang. I came all the way out here for that. And Hank McCoy's like, hey, do either one of you want coke? Because <laughs> why the fuck am I here? I thought I came you here. You mean so Havoc? Fun. Hank Havoc. McCoy? <laughs> Hank McCoy. What Havoc. scene was that? D-Boy Havoc. D-Boy Havoc. He had a pound on him. <laughs> It was, like, strapped to his back. And he knew... He, well, that's why he wanted to go with Xavier everywhere, push his fucking handicapped ass around, because he was like, hey, maybe I can sell some D while we're out. He's like, I just throw it under his blanket. <laughs> and here comes, like, the fattest exposition scene, like, maybe in the last three years. God, he's like... It, it was just anal rapage of fucking they, exposition. Yeah, you learned about the four horses, and he's like, he always has to have four followers. He's like, yeah, I learned that from the Bible. She's like, or well, the Bible learned it from him, those stealing <laughs> Jews. <laughs> And there's apocalypse for you. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start the movie. What's Wait, it? it's 50 minutes in. We haven't done shit yet. All right. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, of course, fucking, what does it do? It just goes back to the scene. It should have never split up because now we're in the house. Yeah. And that's when she's like, hey, dude, what are you, what are you doing? Are you looking at underage porn, you weirdo? And he's, like, he's like, learning. Positions. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> no. BBW. <laughs> yeah, and apparently he sees that, like, people are understanding theory of war, and he doesn't like it. Yeah, he's he like... Doesn't, he doesn't like the technological advances that are happening because he thinks he might die from them. Essentially, that's my theory, is that the nukes, like, the one thing that could kill him because you essentially see a nuke kill him at the end. Yeah. So that's my guess. But at the same time... I think he's just a grumpy old man. <laughs> he's like, what are these triangles they shoot and they blow up? I don't get it. I, I don't, don't like know. these screens. <laughs> he's like, no more TVs. <laughs> She's like, that's the only way we entertain ourselves around here. Otherwise, I'd be raped no. by these 16 boys. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and he's like, let me turn your hair white, my child. And that's what he, he calls everyone his child. My child. Right. It's like, you know um, my dad. Well, Caliban calls him out on it. <laughs> Caliban. 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 Better Caliban. I wrote in my notes Calabash. Calabash? <laughs> the Calabash kid? <laughs> Caliban. Calabash. Um, yeah, so basically, Apocalypse was just talking like a fucking asshole, a blue asshole. Yeah, he's like, you will be asshole. my goddess. Um, and he turns her hair white, which is basically him nutting on her, I guess. Essentially, <laughs> yeah. Um, because that's he, he becomes gel. a stylist. Well, like I said, he gives her white hair. He gives Angel the, the white man Jew perm. Well, he hooks um, her up on a costume, too. Yeah. He goes to Kmart and rips some holes in a fucking spandex bathing suit for fucking Psylocke. Some, he's so together some shit for fucking... Um, he's the ultimate stylist, though. He comes through. Well, um, what I don't get is, like, how Angel had armor and no one else did. He was just like, they're expendable. Yeah. But not Angel and Magneto. I need those Because he guys. has knives. He can throw knives and fly with them. <laughs> I'm blue. And do stupid tricks. I have, see these tubes in my head. I had a 13 million year nut in me, all right? I can't think straight. Because that's why he escaped. Well, he his... had a 13 million year blue balls that turned him blue, and Whoa. he just nutted it all out. And the emission caused him to teleport, apparently. <laughs> That was his real mutant power. He's like, I just jack off. And how was no one in Egypt? And I know they see some weird shit. And I know they've seen Emotep and heard of Godzilla. Brendan Fraser was fighting out there (laughs) at some point in time. And Jet Li apparently also fucking hates and fights mummies. But um, why didn't anyone have suspicion of this blue dude walking around? He wasn't, like, invisible. No, they've explained. This is because so what... I guess in the storyline okay. of the movies, what what apocalypse happened is when like you see the hatred of the movies where they're all older. But prior to apocalypse, mutants were pretty much being accepted because they were seen as mutants had been seen as saving the world from more powerful. Mutants. So he's just a weird ass mutant. Yeah, that people think he's just a weirdo. I guess sort of the reason that Kurt can go to the mall, but in the Midwest they'll just think you're the devil and try to kill you. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Uh, speaking of Nightcrawler, him and Mystique, again, like I said, how long was this, bro? 
How long ago did we see Nightcrawler Mystique? This About like 40, 40 minutes, minutes ago. ago. Yeah. Now like, we're interested because we see this chemo dude in front of us. It's like, come on. Yeah, and she's um, like, yeah, this is Crawler. He's like, actually, it's Nightcrawler. But, oh, I mean, Kurt Wagner. <laughs> and like you were saying, this is the Underground Railroad for fucking It years, is. Apparently. It is, because um, this is how they get... You go them. away to hide. Why would Never taking to be seen his again. picture matter? And could he make the picture look any gayer? <laughs> Let me do my hair real quick. <laughs> I'm also a stylist. <laughs> this is how I got my jacket. Um, yeah, what the fuck was that? Anyways. Um, yeah, and all this... Ex- then This is when Caliban's like, hey, I know you ran into me randomly, but hey, I got something for you, actually. I've been looking for a mystique. No, he. I think um, she. that's his connect. Oh, okay. Or the, her connect. Because he told her about away. Eric. He's like, yo, like, he's, he, he went around murdering some, uh, yeah. some cops. Yeah, because so, I think that there's this, like I said, there must be some sort of network of of fucking mutants sucking each other off <laughs> somewhere, and this is one of her connects into that network. She's yeah. like, I got a gay German dude here. <laughs> pretty... he, but he, apparently he's Indian now. Well, yeah, he's he's uh, one of those weird Indian <laughs> Germans. Um, very rare. <laughs> um, yeah, and he's like, yeah, you know, I'm Caliban. Yeah. Good fuck, no. And uh, Beast is like, hey, man, I made your uh, vector field for your uh, glasses. <laughs> I'm, I'm the fucking biggest fucking queer in this movie. He sucks, bro. Yeah. He's Beast like, is the worst character in this movie. You should uh, trap the uh, wavelengths of your eyeballs into the vector fields that they're meant to be in so that you don't Those accidentally were uh, fresh, shitty one. Though. And he just takes it and he's like, okay, dude. <laughs> I, I guess. No, he says thanks. He's like, hey, bro, thanks, No, man. I mean, but you can tell he's just looking at him like, bro, I barely passed high school fucking chemistry. Yeah, what stop explaining that about? shit to me. Um, <laughs> Try him on. And then he can and see, and he's like, who's that girl? And he's like, oh, that's that demon voice that's been haunting you. And you and you can see that, like, that whole Caliban scene was just literally set up for Mystique to go see Xavier. That was it. Essentially. No other purpose. None. What was the purpose? To show Caliban? To show Psylocke? <laughs> That's true. Like, what was the point? That's true, though. Um, I think it was literally just to show Psylocke or introduce something into the fucking story and put get her the information for What's-His-Face and set up this scene where she comes to the school. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, and then, straightforward but shit. Cyclops is seen through his fucking red eyes. You know, he's like, yeah, I was already saying. stoned all the time, so this is dope. He's like, I'm stoned on the inside of my red eyes and on the outside. And then he talks to Jean Grey, and he, and then yeah, she's God. like, hey. and MTV's and he's like, oh, fuck. That's your voice? No, he first sees her. He's like, oh, hey, is that that weird dykey sounding chick? She's yeah. fucking kind of hot. He's like, yeah, that's the demon in your head. Um, go talk to her. Yeah. He's like, hey. And he's like, oh, God, the voice doesn't match. And then he sees some kids walk by, and he's like, I got glasses now. I'm not going to shoot trees. Yeah. And he thinks everyone's scared of him because he's Cyclops. He's like, oh, yeah, they're just scared of my power, man. He's it's like, too powerful, man. It's because I look old enough to be She's like, dad. you're not the only one they're afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep under <laughs> a rock. My neighbor's a sponge and the other one's a squid. <laughs> uh, she's a uh, man. Yeah, so that's basically what she said because they're scared of her. Because she's a crazy fucking lunatic. She's burning down walls. I'd be scared of her too. Well, every time she's hitting that time of the month, the fucking room lights on fire. <laughs> so... There's a reason he says they're continuously renovating the fucking mansion. <laughs> Maybe that's why Cyclops sometimes just disappeared from Jean Grey because he's like, oh, I know what time of month it is. I'm not dealing with that shit. It's like, oh, I have a... period right there. I gotta go. <laughs> My parents and shit, like... Um, <laughs> I gotta visit their grave for a week. I'm so fucking bored <laughs> yeah, at this point. Yeah, this sucks. Um, and then a- Apocalypse shows up with him and his blue man group and they fucking go see Caliban. Not yet, because I think... Um, they, yeah, do they, they have so... fucking um, Kurt come? Kurt come? That was weird. <laughs> uh... Oh, yeah, that's when they... Yeah. That's the whole Mystique Beast. You know why I didn't mention it? Because I don't want to fucking go over it. <laughs> I don't want to see Beast and Mystique like, Oh, hey, well, we could have fucked. We're both blue. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then Nightcrawler just being a douchebag. And looking like a douchebag. <laughs> Nothing really went on there. <laughs> Nothing at all. Or is that the part when um, they start talking about, uh, you know, protecting, the, the, we see the ship? Is that that part? 
They're just walking around do, doing bullshit, essentially. I know, but school. he shows a ship, and he's like, yeah, you're going to come back? Like, I've been sprucing up for this fucking war. <laughs> hate these fucking humans. That's what, yeah. He's like, dude, like, I thought this was a school. Like, Even though he becomes an ambassador? Sounds like you're rounding up soldiers. And he's like, well, we are. <laughs> he, he doesn't know that, but I know that. Um, yeah, and that's when Apocalypse is, you know, he's still butthurt about this new world that exists. He's still pissed off about it, that he's not everyone's god. And that's when they go to Caliban, right? <laughs> this is when they go to Caliban. You see this fucking Psylocke's stupid lightsaber. Um, In her fresh-ass 80s fit, a real yeah. 80s fit. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's like, like, I want to make you strong. Well, because he looks at Caliban, he's like, my child. Caliban's like, you do not look like my father. You didn't touch me as much as you have. Or he touched them a lot more. Maybe a little bit in the penis region. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, this I'm I'm sort of over this emo type shit, bro. I'm really over it. Yeah, because he's just spouting bullshit at yeah. this point. He's like, let me make you stronger. It's like he stroked out he's halfway like, through his character and just was like, dude, we can't get him well, to stop saying whole, this. Well, his whole... If you combined all of his lines into one line and made it a movie... It would just be one long prophetic rant. It would. It's a sermon. That's all I want. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a just... sermon, a street side sermon. He's the crazy dude who paints himself um, blue and goes out and fucking talks. And this is this is when Cyclops is like, "Hey, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I'm like a douchebag in the comic books and the motherfucking cartoon." Yeah, he's, he's douchebag like, now. It's like, hey, let's blow this. Let's get out of joint. <laughs> okay. Let's hop in my GT, brah. We'll you slap look... some vanilla ice. It's like you look like the devil. Let's go to public place. What? He's like, oh, I'd much love go to the mall. Like, what is the go mall? To Hot Topic in Forever Twenty One. He's like, you never seen a mall before, man. That's America. And last <laughs> I checked, we're in America. She goes, like, I can't be in a mall. Gotta be in my room. <laughs> Doctor Xavier likes me in my room when he can come in at night. He's like, all right, I don't know what fruity place Kirk is from. Kirk, right? Kurt, Kurt Vanegat. I don't know. But we're going to the hookup of the fucking mall. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, that's what they have three of the main X-Men characters do, is go to the mall. And see a movie. To make an inside joke that was supposed to make fun of Last Stand, when it really is making fun of this movie, because this is the worst fucking movie I've ever seen. Well, at least we can all agree the third one's always the worst. Well, that, and they have to put them out of proximity of what's about to happen. Yeah. Because they need them to be captured, or yeah. sort of. I guess. If they really wanted to say a joke to insult Brian Singer, they should have been like, hey, we should have invited a gay guy and touched him in the theater a little bit. <laughs> Get him drunk. So they make they make the fucking joke that the third movie's always the worst. <laughs> 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 hey guys. Psychic power makes my voice sound like this. Cause I'm speaking in your mind and with my mouth at the same time. Um yeah, that's what they did. That's what I was supposed to be interested in. An hour into this fucking movie, that's what I get, is them going to the fucking mall. Um, and then they cut out to Psylocke being like, hey, I got this guy. Let's fucking progress the plot more. Let's make the movie fucking longer. And Angel's up there listening to, what is that, like Slayer or Metallica or some <laughs> He's shit? He's like, yeah, I'm just going to get drunk in this fucking... Um, he might be more of a scumbag than Wolverine. Yeah, he was like, he... my powers are gone. I guess I'll just be a drunk homeless <laughs> person in a fucking factory. Can't fight anymore. <laughs> I'll say two words in this fucking movie as well. Did he say words other than like, bro, we got to fire, they'll kill us. It's like, fire, till they'll kill us. Yeah, pretty much. And he was just getting drunk. Well, he's like, there's uh. one blue guy fucked me up. <laughs> this blue guy made me better. I'm pretty sure I've been drunk for three years. And Apocalypse of Style is fucking... Yeah, he styles his, them out. Gives them a whole new fucking wardrobe. Whole new fucking body. But, yeah, well, he broke his bones. Well, he gave him new bones. And he still, at the end of the day, was like, useless. Right? Well, he was useless. Yeah, he was a Because that was the dumbest pick that Apocalypse yeah. could have made. Well, it was actually Psylocke. Even Psylocke was like, let's leave this drunk bum. I didn't know he had a fucked up wing. That was his last second round pick. He was like, all right, well, we, I guess we need to get him. <laughs> No, no other mutants will join us. I'm friendless. He's like, just there's no one else. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so he turns him into um, w- which we get. I I used to hate on why he needed the four horsemen, but it made sense. He yeah. needs the four horsemen to 
you know, protect him when he's vulnerable and the most important vulnerability when he's switching bodies. Yeah. Um, and he just likes to sermonize, so he needs people yeah. to talk to. <laughs> he needs an audience. Yeah. He needs a mobile audience. He's like, I can't talk in everyone's uh, mind yet, so you four will do. Yeah, because when he sees Xavier can do that, he gets the fattest purple boner. He's like, I can talk to everyone? Yeah, I can do that too. Uh, I don't want that voice, though. Meanwhile, Magneto's pissed off. He's like, I want you to remember every ethnic vagina you've ever had sex with. Now I imagine. I want you to be taking it away from your memory as I kill you. He's like, now imagine what? how sad that vagina is without you. Except for you. I know you suck. And then a, an apocalypse shows up in his most cartoonish Scooby-Doo way and fucking Magneto's like, the fuck are you doing? Who the fuck are you? He's like, I'm not here to stop you from aiming. I'm just He kills them all. My child. And Magneto's sort of like, dude, fuck you. I was going to kill these motherfuckers. It's like, okay. And then he's just Maybe like. Maybe that's why Magneto's pissed. He never really got his revenge kills. Well, that's what I think. And then so he sermonizes Magneto a little. And then he's just like, come into my sex bubble if you want to fucking be cool. And Magneto's like, I guess. These, he's these, like, yeah, Psylocke is kind of hot. He's like, at least there's two bitches and <laughs> a somewhat feminine-looking fucking angel. In case I'm feeling froggy. <laughs> he's like, uh, I've been known in the 70s to do some shit. And he shit. takes him to Auschwitz, right? And, Mag- and Magneto's like, no, this is where I was circumcised. Yeah, and he starts telling um, <laughs> That's when he goes on, yeah. a, like, a fucking Yeah, the rant of all time. And basically um, the point of it is, and they sum it up, yeah. much like they've done most of this movie in the dumbest sentence ever, he's like, we're going to end their world and give them a better one. <laughs> <laughs> and Magneto's like, wait, where were you when my mother was raped? Yeah, he's like, I was where? asleep, my child. I was I'm just, sorry. I was jerking off in the sand. Um, <laughs> what the fuck does Apocalypse sound like? And he's like, ruin his sewage, ruin their sewage. It will kill them all. Take, feel the metal in the earth. <laughs> and, you know, fucking Magneto has his orgasm scene, and everyone's like, holy shit, Magneto actually is pretty fucking powerful. Yeah, because he, like, uh, murders Auschwitz, like, just by coming. Yeah. <laughs> you have to admit, like, now let's give some credit. The dude that plays Magneto is so out of place in this shit fuck movie. Yeah. He gets nothing to say interesting. He gets nothing to do interesting. No real, like, his character, he has character development, but it's forced. Well, he got to sing. <laughs> yeah. He's the only person to sing in the movie. Yeah. So he gets that accolade. What if he won a Grammy for that song? <laughs> and I can't really, I can't get over the fucking Target swimsuit, bro. Yeah, it's, I, it, it even it has terrible. that, like, elastic Even Olivia fucking... Munn can't pull it off. Bro, and I don't get it. Why? Why? Brian Singer is an asshole. Yeah. Because he didn't make anyone else dress like that except for Olivia Munn, the hottest chick in the movie. Yeah. So, apparently he just wanted to see... Don't... Uh, you think she's hotter than um, Mystique? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Fucking... Yeah. But what I, the point being is don't go to pool-related things with Brian Singer. Pool related, just anything water related, because he'll make you do some pervy ass shit. <laughs> now I wrote in my notes, Mystique doesn't want to be led by board for an image by the world, for the world mutants armies see. Up and still hiding. What? No, oh, yeah, because they're at the University of Wyoming talking about a, a basketball, and she's like, "Well, you know, I'm just a raw basketball player." Can what are you talking about? No. <laughs> Um, no, they're talking about fucking how they're turning, like, basically, he, she's talking to Xavier, and he's like, Oh, you, yeah, you that's just right. He is watching basketball. He's like, mm, soon we will have a school for <laughs> autistics and like, the humans and mutants together. I, I was thinking of doing a sports program. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, you'll never do it, you handicap. You don't even know how to coach yourself. He's like, I can in chess. You want to see what it's like to be me? <laughs> And he's like, oh, you want to find Eric? That's what it is. It's just Eric. Can they stop being, like, jealous of that motherfucker? Like, no. him and Beast are always like, oh, my God, it's, one of the, it's just about Eric. The world's about Eric. Well, yeah, essentially Where they are. are. <laughs> because that's what they're telling her is, well, in her mind, it is about Eric because she'll do anything fucking for him. Yeah. Because Caliban... She's the ultimate main bitch for right? Magneto. Caliban tells him, her... 
that his wife and child died. And then she, I think, belays that information. And even Xavier's like, you're going to hit that, aren't you? And she's like, yeah, well, they're dead, so I don't have to worry about fucking single dad bullshit. And that leads to the reason why... And let's get let's get real. If Xavier never created the X-Men or Cerebro, it'd be a lot better world for mutants. Yeah. You could argue that. Because they, I guess they're using Cerebro to look for... For Apollo? air. No, for Magneto. Air. Oh, for Magneto. Oh, God. Is this when he talks to him in his head? No, and this one, Beast is like, I made it blue because of... um. Oh, ne- never mind. <laughs> Yeah, he's like a, queer. He's like it's the, it's the same color as the inside of your vagina. <laughs> um, I remember it. That one time you let me lick it. And he said I uh, had the privilege. And this is when actually Apocalypse is styling them. He's tailoring no, them. He's um That's what I was gonna measurements. Say. He's fucking This is the best scene because as fucking Magneto Apocalypse has to Fuchero. step away. Yeah. As Magneto has to step away to take his phone call from fucking <laughs> Xavier in the background, you just see Apocalypse like fucking putting clothes on people. <laughs> he's he's uh, like, he, I feel your pain. Uh, I truly do. He's like, No, you don't, Charles. Just because you're in my head. Because that's what I'm saying. He's acting like a fucking preteen. He's like, I buried that with myself, Charles, and my family. He's like, even though, like, your power is actually feeling other people's emotions, like, you don't know what it's like. It's like, okay, dude. Because <laughs> he's a little bitch. It's like, I don't have my helmet yet. Just wait, and then I'll never have to talk to you again, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's like, bro, I'm fucking, I'm killing them all. Because that's what it means. It means when a hand group of people, a handful of people kill my family, that means all humans must die. Yeah. So get that in your fucking head. <laughs> That's how you win an argument. Um, and what happens to Xavier? Cerebro gets exposed and taken over. Yeah. And used for worse purposes, for world-ending purposes. And how many times has that been in X-Men? Is that tallied out of, like, a fourth? Yeah, because this is when he gives another... This might be the greatest sermon. He's like, you can, you can th- never strike God! He's like, you can throw your sticks and stones at the Tower of Babel. You'll never strike my penis. And he's like, your slings, your sticks, your dildos. Your power. <laughs> yeah, that was your so weird. And he just shoots them in orbit. No more superpowers. You can fire your arrows from the Tower of Babel, but you can never strike God! Yeah, everybody thought like I like that's another classic '80s scene. It's just oh, every God. country is fucking, fucking freaking out. Like, what's going it's on, so man? Goddamn Earth! It's so goddamn mills to look like goddamn dicks. And I like you'll have the close up of the face of the guy asking the question. He's like, "So what are they firing at?" And it's just a dude. The next shot is a dude turning around. He's like, "Straight into the air." It's like, dude, straight out of the and 80s. like they don't even have hella advanced like dimensions on their maps. It's just saying things saying it's shooting. Yeah, just going and up. arrows. Up, up, up. Um, so, yeah, that's that. So they find the Cerebro and Apocalypse has the ultimate boner, right? So they go straight to um, X-Men Academy and, like a dick, Magneto pulls Xavier with his chair. Yeah. Yeah, because Xavier's his fucking knocked chair. out and he fucking steals a cripple man by his chair. <laughs> and Xavier's like, let it go from your staff infection, Havoc. And Havoc fucking... Destroys like, the generator, the war generator that Beast had going on. He's like, hey, weird bondage guys, get a load of this. And, and he, kills himself like an idiot. Straight up. and then uh, this, Like every other drug dealer, you're going out with a bang. and this A be, literal bang. This begins the necessary Quicksilver scene. Yeah, oh my god. So this design for YouTube fucking Quicksilver scene. I'm going to be real. I like the first one better. Me too. I like it more enclosed. I like it more realistic. This one just seemed like stupid. Yeah, and it's fucking sweet dreams. And it's, it's just like, it literally is a YouTube just commercial. Dumber. Yeah. He saves all the kids. He's fast. He yeah. saved the X Men. He saved the if X-Men. If that didn't happen, there's no X Men like that. It's restart like, mode. Like forty mutants. They're gone. in rebuild mode. Yeah. Well not just that, but he saves all the kids and the animals. So he yeah. he really did the most. He did the most. Just because he's looking for his dad. That's Quicksilver's story. He's just looking for his dad. He just wants Let's his Let's make daddy. him as one-dimensional as possible. And that's when um, um <laughs> that's when the group shows it was more. Up. It was cornier, too. And just more. It was just like everything about it 
was just felt forced. Well, that yeah. whole scene. And then they tried to make it funny, but it really wasn't funny. And... It just looks stupid. Yeah. The other one was... Natural. Funnier. Yeah. Um, as natural as somebody pretending to run in slow motion as it can be. <laughs> um, and that's when we see, because apparently every time Mystique uh, is blue... She has to have no clothes on. Everyone's like sort of looking at her like, oh, does she have a Pretty vagina? Like, are those nipples? Yeah. And it's like, it's her. It's her. It's the and she's like, I'm, I'm not a hero. I'm not I'm a covering hero. up my tits and I'm out. And, the one, like, and you can tell fucking like some of the kids are like. a fucking uh, hero, right? <laughs> some of the kids are looking at her like, I know what I'm jerking off to later. <laughs> and then we see Stryker. Yay. Why Stryker's is he here? Back. Why to, is he here? To take them to Wolverine <laughs> so we can watch the Wolverine ad. <laughs> Bro, how do people think this movie was all right? Like even on the DVD, normally there's like a bunch of quotes, like three or four. If it's a touted movie, yeah, there was this one. This had two, and it was like for the from visual fucking Robert Rober, his fucking. <laughs> he's like, it was like, a oh, fantastic. My dad was gay. It was a good superhero movie. I had a thumb <laughs> right up my ass. That's what the rating I gave. Apocalypse it. was blue, guys. We have a blue villain again. Isn't that original? <laughs> Most original X Men power mutant movie ever. <laughs> it's the truth. So, that's what he might as well have put. Because this movie fucking sucks my cock. Because what's the first thing that happens? Okay, there's a little suspense with Stryker, and then, oh, they chase <sighs> after Stryker, and then Stryker takes them to the well, base. Well, he has the ultimate, like, mutant stopping weapon, right? Well, a box of electricity, I guess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, you mean the guns, the soldiers? Yeah. <laughs> um, and apparently, like, Gene has that power, has the Xavier power now. So you assume, and I know Brian Singer's whole goal of making Apocalypse was to eventually show the Phoenix. Yeah. That's what Brian Singer was so buttered about. He's like, I didn't get to do Phoenix the way it was supposed to be done. Essentially, and he did it. yeah. And what's he's funny like, is... The Phoenix is in me when I'm inviting guys over to my house. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, I feel the Phoenix every time I explode. Because he had to do the Phoenix, right? The Phoenix he just had to. He fucking had to. He can't and help himself. You, clearly, this is a stronger Jean Grey than any other Jean Grey. Yep. She has the strongest period of all. Well, because she disintegrates a dude. <laughs> like a, disintegrates the most powerful mute. That's what I'm saying. Which I guess there um, is a shout out to what she does. Almost does to Logan later on before he stabs her. What is he? What does he In do? The third one, she's like disintegrate. She's like pulling his skin off, essentially. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, and so like, so she has powers to like hide herself. So they uh, they teleport onto his electric box and they're trapped. Yeah, like fucking rats in a trap. <laughs> Although they hadn't taken off yet. Well, and... no, they weren't in the trap, and Nightcrawler put them in the trap because well, yeah. they're fucking stupid. And he's like, "Oh, it's the electrical field." And what they the helicopter. And what the actual X Men would have done was he would have just told Kurt to grab them, and then yeah. wait till I shoot and fucking and blow let's up jump. Them. Yeah, and just disappear. And apparently, that electricity is blocking her telekinetic power as well. Electricity, I guess, is just the, the, how you stop mutants. There you go. That's apocalypse for you. Woohoo! And he's praying. Um. And that's her fucking, you know, that's the more MTV dialogue where fucking Cyclops is, like, pissing laser tears on his cock. And Should've he's like, oh, my me. God. She's like, here, grab my hand. I feel what you're feeling. Scott, I already know your dick like, size and I'm not impressed. Like, your vagina is a little too warm. He's like, I know. It's two days away. <laughs> I'm the Phoenix. <laughs> It's actually not a power. It's when I pull my vagina cheeks open. Oh, cheeks. <laughs> cheeks. <laughs> yeah, she's got a chubby one. Vagina cheeks. Uh, yeah, so, you know, and then this is, <laughs> then they're at the actual sermon mountaintop, or fucking Apocalypse wants to do his major sermon. Um, and Xavier has to explain to him that, you know, or no, Apocalypse is like, I actually, if you guys haven't known, I'm not going to explain any of my powers, but I actually have the power to, like, stop you from using your power. He's like, but what That's I never had. <laughs> He's my... like, my power is up your power. But what I never had the power to do was your power. <laughs> oh. Xavier's like, oh. So how am I being used in this? I mm-hmm. went to Cambridge. Mm-hmm. I understood that. <laughs> um, yeah, and then Magneto's having his fucking little 
gay rant as well. It's like, it's like so, Charles. How many times can I say Charles? Charles. Charles, you'll never know what it feels like. I bury that with my family, Charles. I couldn't have sex with my wife because she had a fucking nipple ring, and every time I come, it would rip out. Charles. Charles. <laughs> Xavier's like, uh, all right, uh, you're a fucking asshole. Uh, and, you know, I said, I said they hinted at the Phoenix again. What what are they hinting with her at the Phoenix? That she's the Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was from the helicopter discussion. Yeah. Um, oh, no, they hint at Phoenix because Stryker puts them in the thing, and they're all like, oh, what is this? Like, dude, that was so cartoonish when he threw uh, them in the, yeah. the mutant fucking try or jail whatever it's like that does have the best line he's like we don't know bro no that wasn't it he's like yeah what, what was this tremor i want to know what this tremor was there's some somehow more powerful mutant than xavier he's like where we're stupid enough to not know that it's gene he's like i heard a voice where is xavier we don't know bro we don't know bro we don't know bro um and that was when you know apocalypse made xavier tell the world now so he can his, enhance his powers to talk to the world straight from him. Oh, and this is shitty. This is terrible. What is this? This is a message. I think it's the professor. A message to every man, woman, and mutant. You have lost your way. You have lost your way. But I have returned. But I have returned. The day of reckoning is here. All your buildings. Vashimbashne, Ichrame, Ruchmund, Nakonakuja, Pambazuko, La Uliwengo, Umpia. For there is nothing you can do. Change to stop what is coming. Change If you can hear me, focus on my voice. Focus on my voice. Kyra, find us. Change find us. Kyra, find us. This message is for one reason alone. To tell the strongest among you. Those with the greatest power. This earth will be yours. Those with the greatest power. Protect those without. That's my message to the world. And nothing happened. He just, like, what could have happened? Nothing. No one reacted? No one in that city that they were making shit? Like, when Apocalypse was making his temple, no one in that city evacuated? Or we assume they all evacuate? Well, what, where, where do you evacuate? Yeah, how do you know where it's going to happen? <laughs> but that's my... God, so, this movie was so fucking stupid. Do, <laughs> I'd rather watch Superman fight fucking Zod for an hour and a half. I'd rather watch Superman spin around the world and turn back time for an hour and a half. So I can get back my fucking hour. Well, like, like this was terrible, hours. bro. It was terrible. And it's like, God, there's so much of the movie left. What was the point of warning people either? Like, I get that he was trying to be, oh, I'm from the 80s and this is how villains were. But it's like, what was the point? Oh, God. And then Xavier turns around and he's like, those with power, protect those who don't have it. It's like, God, did like, literally, I think a five-year-old wrote the fucking dialogue. Yeah. And Quicksilver's like, hey, you think my dad was a bad guy? And Mystique's like, yeah, he was a fucking asshole. He murdered. Did you, he's like, wait, you don't know? He just, like, murdered people. He's tried to molest me twice when I was a kid. He made out with my vagina when I wasn't looking. It's because I'm always naked. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, that's when, like, you know, he's, when he says all that shit to Xavier, or Xavier says at the end, like, protect the weak. Pacos gives him this, like, really fruity look. If you guys like, ever mm. notice that, he's like, mm. all right, I'll give you credit, you crippled man. He's like, I got you, bro. Um, you know, and then we got the weapon X scene. Because, um, okay, so they're just trawling around. Yeah, they're looking for a generator. He's like, this looks like a room with a and generator. And I call it's like the helicopter. I can't get in. It's just like the helicopter. <laughs> Wait, is that the helicopter? <laughs> And they go to the fucking generator. Uh, oh, let's put Wolverine next to a power generator. Yeah, I didn't get that. <laughs> I didn't get what, like, I don't even think that was a power generator. I think fucking Cyclops was just like, hey, this looks like a room with shit in it. Let's go in. And not only is Jean Grey powerful to know who's in there, she can, like, sense out their past and history. I found a piece of his past and gave it back to him. 
just a few memories I could reach. Hope that's the last we've seen of that guy. But that's what I mean. Like, how powerful is this genie? She's retardedly powerful. Um. Cause yeah, but just don't you know? Let her, don't let her get the you know don't, that time of the month. Everyone escaped the world, cause Phoenix was blowing out of her, <laughs> out of her butthole. <laughs> um, Is that what happens when she eats chili? <laughs> you see fucking like, the flame and then, Phoenix. And then we see the the preview to Logan, which was Wolverine. And then when you watch Logan, you're like, oh god, this scene's whack as fuck. Oh god, yeah. Now that you've seen Logan, you're yeah. just like, oh god. <laughs> It's like if you saw Rogue One, that Darth Vader scene, and then you went back and watched A New Hope, that Darth Vader scene. Yeah. And you'd have been um, like, what is this stupid ass scene? Get out now, bro! Yeah, and so Wolverine just basically kills a bunch of guys in like VH1 style. Yeah. Like just the blood showing, but nothing really going on. Yeah. He's going, homeless. And then to compensate for not getting an R rating when he does stab someone in the head, there's no blood. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, they, they play that game pretty um, hard. And they have a weird pervy moment with him and Jean Grey. And she's like, here's what you will be remembering when we fuck each other later in the future. And he's like, Ugh. And then he fucking he runs to away f- to the homeless shelter. <laughs> he's like, I need that soup. It's Wednesday. So it's a good thing I put a couple... Beef stew today. Good thing I could put a couple bottles out in front of this place. Um, so they run away and Nightcrawler fucking gets in the way of Cyclops. And Cyclops is like, dude, what the fuck? I, like, I didn't even know you were in the group anymore. You fucking suck. <laughs> no, this um, is because they free them. Yeah. Yeah, they blow the doors off, and Nightcrawler apparently has never had to count past three on his hands before. Because he only has three fingers. Yeah, he's surprised when he's counting with his fingers. He's like, wait, what? So he was probably stoned. <laughs> he always got high before they went and watched um, the movie. Uh, he, and then, oh, okay, and so Apocalypse is like feeling, he's like, oh, I was betrayed. It's like, this is I was where... supposed to be God. He's like, now look at this place. It's full of dirty socks and power lines. Right? Um, and he builds his temple. And he, he, whenever he builds his temple, he likes to build statues of his friends. Yeah, because they he's do like, show hey, that. He's like, hey, here were my pals hanging out. <laughs> it's because um, he's a lonely guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, no, guys, we're friends for real. Look. I mean, He statues. is like the guy that makes people be his friends. He's like, like he he thinks he runs his friend like group of friends. He's like, yeah, I'm in charge of these guys. He just, really no one likes him. He just shows up. He's the dude that shows up at your door, like needing something every day, like your neighbor. He's like, just to talk. Yeah. He's like, hey man, do you think you could help me like uh, move this, and then I can talk to you about how my daughter left me. And and Xavier, well, and and by and Greg, I mean like literally, he made statues of Angel and shit. Like, yeah. There was actual statues, and uh, you know Xavier's like, do I play a role in this? Role in this? And Pox is like, oh, you play the most of all. You die, you cripple. So here's my thing. He's switching bodies with Xavier. Is he going to be crippled? No, because he has Wolverine power. He takes every power with him. Okay. So he'll just heal himself back up. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so he would have really been the strongest. Um. You know, and that that's why I said that's when Mystique and Quicksilver are like, yeah, let's go get him. Let's, let's go hop in this. Because uh, he has Magneto just destroy the world. Like a Pops is like... Apocalypse has him pull up everything out of the ground. So, he's destroying bridges. He's destroying buildings. And the billions wo- of dollars of infrastructure. And killing like what you have to assume would be a fuckload of people. A crapload. Yeah, because think about it. And this is the part. This is what sort of mutes the whole part of this of them even getting to that part of the world. Because first of all, how fast does the fucking plane they have go? Because doesn't it, isn't that like a thirteen hour trip? <laughs> Fucking yeah, they get the, there in about two minutes. Yeah, from the middle of America to fucking the Middle East. That's got to yeah. be like 10-hour trip. And second of all, if it's made out of metal, how the fuck is it even flying? Very good. Very good question. Like, because when they were flying through all the metal chunks, I was like, wait, how is the fucking ship just not being torn apart? Unless that they specifically built a Magneto-proof ship. It was kind of dope how Magneto was just like, like, ain't, like effortlessly controlling this shit and then that's when you go to the military they're like oh everything's made out of nickel and dimes it's like we're gonna be we're everything gonna... to the bronze age the whole goddamn world's in our hands like, we made everything out of metal not anticipating there'd be a guy who could do this cause why would we um yeah and all, all it takes is a mystique uh, prep prep Pep- speech t- Pep- well you know quicks over through in his uh <laughs> funny little I'm, th- I'm just a loser man I, yeah. I don't do anything <laughs> Like I, he's there like, wait, were we different back then? He's he's like, ah, oh, nah, man, I'm just sort of a loser. I just smoke pot in my mom's basement. 
He's like, I just smoke it really fast. That's my thing. I can roll it really fast as well. Roll it really fast. Roll 100 blunts in one minute. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, her line, and Jean Grey's like, were you ever scared, Mystique? She's like, look, I'm not a fucking hero, all right? I just have titties that have no nipples. <laughs> I like to show them. One all time right? she just needs to, like, like she just <laughs> show them her titties. Over it. I was yeah. over it. I'm just over... Yeah, she just changes back. And that's the thing She to didn't me. shoot somebody. Cool, bro. That's that was her, what she was. She didn't shoot somebody. The thing to me, too, about fucking um, Mystique is... Like, so she's changing back into Blue Mystique like it's going to affect the battle. <laughs> right? Like, you might as well just change into, like, a seven-foot fucking yoked dude. That's going to change the battle. Right? Like, what is she... Why not just be Shaq? Just turn into Shaq and just fucking and you can slap dunk around, on Apocalypse. You can slap around uh, the dude from the Warriors. <laughs> um, I'm going to knock the sense out of his mama mouth. And this is such a CGI fuck fest. There's just like, a lot oh of shit God. going on at this point. They just it's keep Magneto floating around, destroying everything. Um, Apocalypse laying pun. down on the fucking slablet. Xavier fighting off the purple orgasm. He's like, ew, I don't want it in my body. He's like, I don't now want I'm bald. cheese in my butt. Uh, um, and, and Nightcrawler getting lost because he doesn't understand anything. He's like, oh, I, yeah, I right. to teleport. He teleports. Like, this is where it gets me is he's teleporting through and then he just starts fighting Angel, which effectively takes him outside of the pyramid. Right? <laughs> like, of his own accord because he's teleporting Angel. That's the grudge match of the century. <laughs> and the Beast versus Psylocke matchup? What was that? Where did the whip, how did the whip not cut his head off? That's what I don't get. And then what? Beast he, sucks. He Beast does fucking suck. He's really fucking sucked in this movie, bro. Like, he didn't do anything. Hold on, guys. I'll be there. Yeah, and then he becomes Batman for a fucking span of time. At the end, yeah, he just is Batman. <laughs> um, You know, and... Uh, Pretty much, they're just... It's exactly what we were saying. It's just fights and fucking transference. <laughs> That's it. Storm starts fucking doing some dumb shit and fucking. <laughs> yeah, it's the ultimate no 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 scene like just lasers and lightning. Psylocke and pops out. CGI. Oh my god, yeah. she was so CGI. She it looked like Tomb Raider, and the game. <laughs> That's right. Like not yeah. the movie, the fucking game. It looked like Tomb Raider when she was running, uh, around the top of the building and then jumped and flipped and shit. It looked so god, fucking stupid. That was terrible. Yeah, it did look like a PlayStation game, like the first PlayStation. Um, and, and then this is the the mystique monologue. Yeah, right. Is God. that and no? First, come on, come on, come on, come on. First though, she's like, "What is she's?" Oh yeah, I have it in here. The fucking because I just remember them showing Magneto's face that Eric is too strong to pay attention right now. <laughs> well, no, she says like all this bullshit. She's like, "Hey, come on, X Men, you remember?" Magneto's like, "What do you have to say, my white haired friend?" He's like, ah, just here for my family, man. He's like, yeah, I've been I smoking a- pot in my mom's basement for like five years, brah. I'm a I loser. I think you banged her once. Um, <laughs> hey, you're my dad. <laughs> no, but he doesn't say that because he's a pussy. Well, because, not that. It's because he's on shrooms and he said it in his head. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what cooks over is? He's just on shrooms the whole time? It's I mean, that's why reality. time goes slower. That's his um, true power. Okay, so he's actually fast, but he does shrooms. So that's how it makes the time slower as well. So it's, he just becomes that's ultra his, like, fucking. That's his mutant. sensu being from fucking, uh, or like his his augmented reality. And so Nightcrawler and Angel have a fucking WWE Nintendo sixty four SmackDown fight. That right? shit looks sick. And he just locks him in the cage essentially. Well, yeah. this part pisses me off because the way he gets out is he spins in a circle to cut all the walls and then flies through the roof. Like, cutting the walls didn't do anything in that situation. Yeah. So he just did that to look cool? I don't know. Brian uh, Singer just wants spinning things? Apparently. And like, he just he wants to show that Nightcrawler, that was the last good X-Men movie he made. <laughs> was that Nightcrawler can flash around, and that'll help things. Yeah. Um, I said all, all this commotion makes uh, Professor X lose his hair. <laughs> um, it, well, yeah, Nightcrawler gets him in, like, isn't this the scene where, you know, they all try and escape on the jet? But yeah. Angel and Psylocke fuck it up. Yeah, and Angel gets clapped. Instead of Nightcrawler transporting them one at a time, which may have been quicker, he tries to transport, like, all seven of them. Yeah, because they thought that was the only option, which it wasn't. You could have just given them a heads up and then dipped the He could have done down. three and three. Yeah. Three and three. Probably a lot easier. 
Well, that was retarded. Well, uh, I mean, X Men are stupid, and they don't learn anything in school or how to like strategize or. And they never explain this, but can he, with certain powers, can you concentrate and make yourself stronger? I don't know. Because like, apparently Nightcrawler. No, can. it stems from how much you tap into yourself. That's that sounds like some karate kid bullshit. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Xavier is Mister Miyagi. Well, yeah, except for the wax goes on both of his heads. The wax goes on his fucking on Oscar Isaac's eyebrows. <laughs> Like, um, first you wax the top one. Then an angel the dies one. in the car crash and apocalypse is useless. useless. Um, oh, and this is when, you know, I didn't get this. Why do they say connect so many times the way they did? Like Beast telling Mystique, like, I think apocalypse tapped into this too. Connect. And even apocalypse and says it to him. He's, he's like, like, we're connected. Yeah. It's like, uh, okay, I don't know. It's the He's theme. calling out Xavier. He's like, where the fuck are you, bitch? I'm supposed to be in your body right now. Yeah. Motherfucker. Where are you? Um, and then and what? They convince Eric to be good with the flashback. <laughs> yeah, the 17 minutes of fucking first class they have to sneak into this movie. I don't know if this is before uh, or after this Quicksilver is first class. breaks his, her his leg, but at some point this that was, happens, too. It was after. Um... It was after because that's when he sees him killing Mystique. That's right. Um, yeah, and that was a cool scene. Quicksilver beating Apocalypse because everyone was going to ask, like, why can't Quicksilver just beat his ass? But it's as we can see, Apocalypse has the best point guard vision because he'll just fucking, he just focuses in and it's over. Yeah, because even in slow motion, he can move his eyes yeah. fast. Yeah. He's like, apparently that's one of his powers. I guess. One of the powers that are never explained. Um, so like I said, why can't you just assume that he'll just beat everyone's ass right now? Or is he just toying around and really likes mutants? And on top of that, where did Nightcrawler teleport them? The house right in front of fucking Apocalypse. Well, they don't know that he's that, there because he had just bro. woken up and been pissed <laughs> off and walked out like halfway. Okay, well, let's go on this. So Mystique, Mystique acts starts- like Psylocke and yeah. is going to kill... Clicks over and she pulls the one two on Apocalypse, thinking that he hasn't developed a power to heal himself. Tries to cut his head off. She does. That was try. a nice conniving move by her. And cool. somehow she made a sword <laughs> out of her body. What is her power? I don't get it, bro. Um, and he chokes her the fuck out. And that's when Xavier's like, "Oh, we are still connected, aren't we? I'm not that weak of an X Men. I know you have to save me every fucking movie." Yeah, because he starts distracting him, and that's when fucking Magneto's like, hey, I banged her once, Charles. I have to save her. Because he starts do, like throwing <laughs> well, the metal at yeah, Apocalypse, He puts right? the X in front of him. That's right. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. This is some RG3 cornball shit. <laughs> this is a cornball movie. This is I hope I get kicked off my own podcast networking station for saying cornball. This is a cornball movie because this is literally the dumbest thing. He's he, this I'm movie. Put an X in front of you instead of in you, bro. This movie's out there cornballing. <laughs> and that's when they show that he is literally ten feet away from them. Yeah, like all this planning that's been going on to beat Apocalypse, they were in the house ten feet away. Yeah, because he rips the facade of the house down. They just all look around like, oh shit. Oh uh, <laughs> yeah, we actually lay like, hella close to him. We're retarded. Um, oh god. And, <laughs> um, and, you know, and, and Beast saves Quicksilver, and he saves Mystique. But then he just starts being, and then he's Batman. He's like, let's go. I'll be there. Uh, uh. And <laughs> when all the it's nana is going on, when they're all trying to fight him, Beast is like, hey, I think it's my time. I'll jump in now. And he just gets his ass whooped. Like, doesn't even hop into the fight. Just For gets a minute, thrown he gets out his ass whooped, and then he starts whooping ass once he starts saving people. No, he doesn't do anything. he's picking off uh, Psylocke, right? No, this was after he beat up Psylocke. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, saying, that's right. when they're all electrocuting, whatever they're Storm doing, starts just a bunch of... Yeah. He tries to jump in, and he gets his ass thrown. Wait here. Yeah, we'll be back. Okay. This is when they're inside Xavier's mind now, right? Oh, my God. And they do this in the cartoon, and it does not annoy me. Yeah, but because it's a cartoon, it doesn't matter if someone gets hella huge, but in a real movie, it's like stupid. Not hella huge, just a mind fight. A mind fight in general And is speaking stupid. of which, a mind fight. Something you would expect Xavier to be, like, the top-tier fighter at. Gets his ass whooped by Apocalypse. It takes Apocalypse two seconds to adjust. 
He's like, hey, wait, you're a handicap. You can't punch me. Yeah, and he gets how come bigger it, and beats his ass. How come Xavier doesn't just get bigger? It's a mind fight. I, <laughs> it's not the real world. Because Xavier doesn't have enough creativity in his mind. Yeah, he's, he was too busy on heroin when he was supposed to be creative. And, and that's when all the Xavier just corny 2003 college horror film fucking lines come out. God, uh, yeah. Unleash your power. Apocalypse, you know why you'll lose? Because you're in the corner jerking off alone and I'm in this orgy. Yeah, that's the worst line in the whole movie. He's like, because yeah. you're alone, and the I am not. Is, oh, my God. The Unleash script, your power, Gene. The script looks like it was written by somebody in a hurry before they go to jail. That's what I'm saying. It's <laughs> He's like, just trying to get the script out. He literally says, um, be the phoenix. Unleash your power. Yeah. The phoenix is the only way to and kill And Gene's him. like, well, I mean, it's like one day early, but maybe I could push it out. I don't like to douche <laughs> no man. I just wear the pads. And she does. She just she starts walks on walking. Air. Yeah. She walks on air. And then she squirts. And she fucking unleashes that period. And Apocalypse is like, the truth has been shown. And I guess it's like like acidic or something because he melts. (laughs) He turns into sand. Yeah. Um, And at this point, you're just like, okay, thank God it ended. But then it really Um, doesn't because they have more scenes. Yay. God. Do these scenes even matter? No. Because all of the Nenana finally destroyed them. It took all of the Magneto metal, the Cyclops laser, the Storm lightning, the Phoenix period, the fucking... God. What else? And then he finally dies. God forbid. We're seeing this in 2016, by the way. This is 2016, and we're seeing something like this. Yeah, because then what happens, like a classic 80s movie? A couple lighthearted, jokey scenes, mm-hmm. and the characters regrouping. Well, they first off start by, let's let a girl who just walked on air and shot a firebird at the most powerful mutant to kill him, and a fucking mass murderer to rebuild our house. Our house. <laughs> like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's just watch them rebuild it. And Storm proves she's a fucking snitch. I heard that he was your dad. Yeah, who the fuck told you that? Uh, yeah, actually, that's sort of like personal information. Hey, you got that 10 you owe me for that fucking dime? <laughs> I want to run into you and beat your ass up. I can find you. I only smoke that silver haze. Yeah, same color as your hair, bitch. Um, you know, and then that you know that's how, oh we forgot that even before they start having them rebuild the house, Xavier fucking um. Xavier reminding Myra of their shitty memories. Hey, you remember in Cuba, like where we almost killed the mutant race and like humans. That's Was that right. a great memory? Like, let's get Isn't hard that awesome? to that. Remember, like, how every time we were together before, like, everything was in turmoil? Wasn't that awesome? Should we do that again? Um, oh, we did. Uh, you know, and, and, and as we see, Quicksilver still pussy to tell Magneto that's his dad. Still pussy to do it. Yeah, um, because he's a pussy. And then we get into Xavier letting Magneto go. They build the... Uh, yeah. Sure I can't help you stay, my friend. And he's like, yeah, I know I just killed like a billion people and probably billions of dollars of fucking infrastructure, but hey, I'm out, man. He's like, he literally tells him, he's like, this is the second time you could have had me arrested and didn't, so I guess you're not a snitch. You're a pretty good friend, and we'll beef in the future, so later. He's like, I pity the fool. She has to come to my academy. Is that why? I've seen Grey fucking explode you when her period's ready. Is that why by X-Men 1, the first X-Men, fucking that Xavier finally lets Eric get arrested? He's just like, I'm over this shit. Like, I think so. Bro, you just tried to kill all the humans for the third time. But I've let you go. Twice. <laughs> all right, man. See you next time. Um, you know, and then that's when... Um, <laughs> And he, like I said, billions of dollars of infrastructure. Yeah, I mean, just like, it, like trillions. Countless, countless lives and countries have been destroyed because of him. Like countries. Goodbye, old friend. Couldn't, sorry, couldn't help you stay. Peace. I'm going to go back to creating my private mutant army. And as long as we um, don't tell on each other, we'll be okay. <laughs> um, and then we have the new X-Men. Cyclops fit is Fresh. Yeah, Cyclops has the dope chrome fucking visor. And Mystique's like, hey, look, I know that old fucking bald crippled fuck. Actually, he's not even old, but uh, he looks like he's trying out for the cartoon over there. Let's just look at him. <laughs> Forget uh, everything he told you when he was spinning in a circle in a classroom. Don't live forwards and backwards. Live now. And by that, Forget I mean, everything you learned in school, because school doesn't matter to mutants. Go ahead and just buy the vibrator. Don't be too scared to walk in the store. That's how I felt at first. 
She just starts giving then, him life lessons. And then the new X Men movie. Hopefully, Brian Singer takes over for thirteen more movies. Yeah. And um, then when we start, we'll talk. We'll talk about Xavier retiring from um, being Doctor Xavier. Doctor Xavier Charles. Um, would have been a cooler name. So, at the end of the day, there was no cohesive scenes. It was slow as fuck and long as fuck. The dialogue was nothing garbage. mattered. The script was terrible. The, the action was, was CGI terrible. fucked. Um, Everything about they even the made Magneto sucked. suck somehow, every, which at least the other two movies didn't do. Yeah, every scene they had no cliffhanger. Every scene led it directly into the next scene. And none of the characters like you cared about. No, it didn't make you because they gave them such shitty lines that you thought they were acting badly, yeah. and then you were just like, "Fuck this movie." <laughs> um. And, you know, I think Oscar Isaac deserves some sort of credit because I think he peed in Brian Singer's eye. I think Oscar He definitely Isaac, peed in his Cheerios. I think he peed in his own eye. <laughs> he had some red um, fucking eyes. <laughs> so, I, oh my God, dude. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Yeah, fuck this movie. This movie's terrible. Um, I gave it a 2. I gave it a 1.7. Subscribe on fucking iTunes. Look out for X-Men. Our rankings on X-Men. Um... Go on Twitter and fucking Facebook for our release schedules if we stick to them. Like we ever gave a fuck. Um, fuck podcasting. Fuck everything about podcasts. Uh, and definitely more than fuck podcasts, I might hate this movie more. Yeah, a little uh, bit. And download and subscribe our past episodes, bitch. That's my order of opinion.